That's an eternity of basketball ahead of us. Another beautiful steal perpetrated by Todd White. The action continues. The let's go situation here. Alex A. Deacon going up against a double team. Jeffrey Moore has perfect access to the bucket. Watch yourself on that normal replay of that last bit of action was Juan Fernandez actually wanting to be happy against Massa Jawarski. We're crossing the twilight zone. That's an eternity of basketball ahead of us. This is an eternity of basketball, and we are about to start episode 168. But before that, we remind everyone we're part of the Globally Volley Network. And uh, catch Mukbang with Jojo Maraginot with Kat and Jamie, episode 6. That's another show on the Globally Volley Network. And our most popular episodes for an eternity of basketball on the YouTube channel of Globally Volley. Bernie Fabiosa is at number 1, and then Freddie Hubalde rounds out the top 10. Which one is your favorite? Keep watching on the YouTube channel of Globally Volley. Globallyballing.com is the website uh, to check out all original articles, audio and video projects, all the different shows and all the different social media posts of the Globally Balling Network. And catch us live on Twitter as well. We are broadcasting live on the Twitter page of Globally Balling. Link three slash Globally Balling is the link you need for all of that. So follow us on all social media. All right. I'm Charlie Kuna together with Noel Zarate and Jay Mercado. We are the a trio today because we're all wearing the AOB yeah. shirt. Yeah, and we're about to begin... <laughs> so anyway, today on our show... Dito ako sa gym. Nandito ako sa gym. SGS uh, gym. Uh, where Sid Ventura is having his writing workshop as we speak. Uh, that's why he's absent today. Okay. Writing yes, workshop sir. naman si Sid. Okay. So episode 168 tayo sa araw na ito. So we're, we actually should all be wearing green. But even the guest is not wearing green. So it's okay. Di ba? Because this guy... Ano to eh? Uh, synonymous with Lasal na rin ang pangalan. He played for Lasal. His father played for Lasal. And he was an Olympian... Uh, Classic name in Philippine basketball as well. Of course, we'll touch on that later. Um, played on the national team at one point in his career. Played for the Alaska Milkmen. They weren't the Aces yet back then during his career. Became the, an assistant coach for that franchise. And then eventually a team manager and a team governor. But till that franchise decided, I'm leaving the PBA already. Uh, but right now, he's in an all-important role of the Philippine Sports Commission chair. And uh, obviously, we will touch on that a little also later on. Let's bring him in already. All the way from Batangas right now, PSC Chairman Richard Dicky Bachman. Mr. Chairman, maraming salamat sa iyong pagdalo sa aming konting kwentuhan dito. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for having me. Yeah, 
Yeah, thanks. Thanks for coming Great. on. And I love your background. Of course, let's support the Filipino athletes, everybody. Huh? Of course. Siyempre, of course. Atletang Filipino sa, sa yes. PSC. But, you know, so let's start from the start, Dick. I mean, you, you know, you're a basketball guy. You started early. I, I know you studied in San Agustin, in Dasma, where the Toyota team would practice all the time. Diba? That's what mm-hmm. all the Toyota guests uh, tell us. They would practice in San Agustin. So how did you get started? Is it just because your dad was a player? So you're a player as well? Ganun ba yun? Well, I basically started in the barangay uh, in San Juan. So I used to join the Mayor's Cup. And I think the mayor then was uh, si, uh, Ejercito. And yeah, no. Yeah, no, the, the son, Jingoy. Jingoy is oh, extra. And then he was also, uh, also joining the, the Mayor's Cup. So that's where I actually started. And then came uh, high school, San Agustin, since my father used to work in Paso Tomo. And the nearest school would be San Agustin. And that's where I started also, uh, from from midgets all the way till senior, till juniors in high school. And one of my teammates then was also Joey Santa Maria, Joey Santa Maria. Yeah, yeah. who was my teammate in college. So that's, that's where right. it all we, started. We, I always I always think of you guys together as a tandem yeah. all the time. It's you exactly. and Joey, you and Joey. But were you already the biggest guy all the time from the barangay leagues? Palang, you were the tallest guy already. Uh yes. Uh, <laughs> You know, in high, in basically in, in kindergarten or grade school, you know, the uniform then was basically shorts, gray shorts. And then when I got to um, uh, grade school, they allowed me already to wear uh, long pants because I was uh, yeah. so the shorts look funny. So they allowed me to wear pants already. <laughs> so <laughs> I was the tallest. Um, in, in mukha kasi, mukha kang high school na kasi, pero grade school ka palang, di ba? <laughs> Sure, Actually, I actually have a question, a question about the name, the way your name is spelled, because everywhere you go, it says uh, Dicky with an IE. But in reality, yeah. it's supposed to be Dicky with a Y. Uh, how come this was never corrected? Yeah, you know, I really don't mind. You know, it's it's basically plain Dicky for that. But there's there's two two ways to uh, spell it, IE or Y. But you know, I didn't bother anymore changing it. But I do spell it as with Y with a Y. Yeah. The first time I came across your name, um, I remember back in high school, you went to our alma mater school, no? uh, Lourdes, Casa City, and you played against our varsity team. Um, well, we wished uh, you were quite popular back then. How did you, or how were you able to carry that tradition of uh, the pressure of, uh, of uh, having your father's name uh, while playing? You know, the funny thing is when uh, grade school and high school, he didn't actually get involved with my playing career. So there was no actual pressure. And it started, the pressure started when I got to college. And especially when I was third year, also third year high school, when ESQ uh, actually recruited me to play for their ball club. Right. That this early? Under, okay. Yeah, this was under Buddy Encarnado, uh, yeah. Dr. Yeah. Carrasco, I, I, if I remember right. And my teammates were like Don Don Palayo, uh, Harmon wow. Cotinera. Mm-hmm. And actually, we beat, uh, we, we beat the Lager Light team, and that was a oh, powerhouse team. Oh, so you're part team. of that team. Okay, 85. Alan, Kai, Alan Kai Dick yeah. and uh, Jerry uh-huh. Cotinera, all, right. all those superstars of Lager Light. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I was part of that team, and I was part of that training program. We also had Halmasco in the ESQ. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, Halmasco. Yeah. How old were you then? Uh, so third year high school, so yeah, somewhere 16. there. 16, yeah. 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 Grabe, no? so, I mean, you were a big guy, yes, but but you're 16. So when you're 16, even if you look like a man, you're not, right? So yeah. were they beating yeah, so, you up in practice? Did you get to play at all in the real, in the official games? Uh, that's where I already found out that, you know, I have to actually work. You know, it's hindi na pwede na, you know, ako yung pinakamatangkad. So when it came to the, to the, what's his, the part, that, was it the, the amateurs back then, the PABL or that, it, yeah. it, you know, all, lahat, lahat kami matangkad eh. So I had to get, get stronger. And, <laughs> um, and my coach then was Jolie Pa. So, yeah. so when, we, when, I, when I graduated from high school and I didn't want to, the pressure of me uh, going to La Salle, uh, the pressure was there, but I wanted to, you know, do my own path, go my own way. So I actually tried out in UP. And I oh, was there for... So, a... young no. <laughs> so I, you know, I was there for the, almost like three weeks already. And then uh, training with Jolipa, Benji Paras was there. 
our our weight trainer was her Calianta. Yeah, then my then my father found out. Because <laughs> I, 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 I didn't tell him. So I didn't tell him anything. So then he found out and in a few hours I was in the sal practice. <laughs> so just so he finally finally day. stepped in, huh? He finally yeah, stepped finally. in. Before that, wala siyang pake. Pero dun, yeah, big yeah, but, <laughs> yeah, he got involved in Kurt Bachman talaga, because I heard a story before, and I don't know if this is true, that maybe you can you can refute this or you can confirm it, uh, Boss Dick. Now, see, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar now came to the Philippines as a youngster and saw your dad perform that magic hook shot that he always does. And that was the inspiration to the sky hook of Kareem. Is there any truth about the story that I heard a long, long time ago? Uh... He tells that a lot, but you know, I, I really don't, didn't <laughs> want to <laughs> confirm. Or, so I just let I just let him tell, tell that story. You know, I didn't get involved anymore. But hopefully, you know, it's partly true. <laughs> right, right. So imagine well, 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 the greatest nice. player well, ever. I mean, exactly. Well, I mean. but, but that was his favorite. That was his favorite shot. You know, uh, the the hook shot, and he can do it yeah. left and right. And he did it properly the, with one step left hand. One step hook shot right hand. I was my, mine was more of of jump a hook. jump hook. Yeah. Ah, so yes, like yes. my mine was more like a Kevin McHale. Yes. Oh, exactly. Exactly. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's so the, the first thing so I this guy got when you're playing. Yeah, you're Kevin McHale. Yeah. Yeah. So I patterned my 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 jump hook to uh, to Kevin McHale, and I watched his moves also. What was that like though? Being being the the son of a former Olympian, one of the greatest players of all time, and then you're following in his footsteps. It's a basketball. It was, you know, it was tough. You know, uh, my family is, we have two boys and, and two girls. And my brother, my older brother was, you know, he was the smartest. He didn't get involved in basketball. So, you know, I tried, you know, I tried to make him happy. I tried to, but I did, I did want to actually uh, make it to the, to the, to the big leagues. I did love basketball. Okay, so you know, so I, I pursued, you know, I tried, I tried to, I made the PBA, but basically coming to the PBA was totally different. You know, uh, there's a lot of superstars, same, same height, same talent, uh, you know, same strength. So it was tough, but you know, I'm still glad and proud that you know I was able to make the the PBA. So you're playing for ESQ against the higher competition already. Um, tuloy -tuloy na yan, di ba? Once you joined ESQ, you you continuously played UAAP and PABL together. Was that is that correct? Yeah, so I was under Derek Pumarin uh, and you know Joey Santa Maria was there also. We I played for Magnolia, yeah. and then and then after Derek was also Franz Pumarin. Okay, but I got sick. I got sick uh, before going to the PBA draft. I I got this virus. They call it uh, a Galen Barre syndrome. So uh -huh. it, it oh. only affects GBS. GBS. Yeah. Yeah. So it oh. only affects like one out of ten people. So yeah, same same so, thing with boy beats, Victoria. You also had that. Yeah, so but I I had that for a year. So basically I was playing for Franz Pomarin and we had a La Salle game, no, a Magnolia game in, in Ateneo. And all of a sudden, um actually I we practiced in the morning and I slept in the Pomaran's house. And when I woke up in the Pomaran's house, I couldn't move already. So my whole lower extremities, I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't move. So that, ha that, that was maybe lasted me a year. You know, I, I could walk, but I, 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 it's, my knees were supposed to be locked. If I bent my knees a little bit, I'll fall down. So that, that lasted for almost a year and a half. And then I was supposed to join the draft that year, and you know I couldn't, so I waited. And then after a year and a half, I tried out in uh, Hinebra. So okay. I got close to I got close to Chito Loisaga. I got close to Nonoy Chuatico. So I, I was attending already the in, uh, in Anie, I think it was Anielo by, back then uh, with Robert Jaworski. So I was in with their team for two months already training. And practicing, okay. but it was a tough process coming from that a tough process coming from that 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 sickness. Uh, you know, it's, yeah. it was a slow, slow, very slow recovery. 
yeah, let, let's talk about GPS, uh, Boss yeah. Dick, because you know, I, I just mentioned Boybits Victoria. The late Boybits Victoria also had that uh, that that sickness. Also, I mean, is it a uh, Chamba disease or is it a, a genetic disease or how do you acquire that and how do you get rid of it? They they don't know. It's a very rare disease. Nah, you know, I was I was just sleeping Shasta be so before the game and then the Pomeranian's house and then I woke up. I just felt pins and needles in my, my lower extremities and in my fingers. Then all of a sudden, I couldn't move anymore. It, uh, it, that's the mild kind uh, that what I had. But there's a more serious kind that it affects the, the, what's this, the nerves inside your spinal cord. So you're, you, you're, you're, you can't breathe. So I had the mild kind. So still, I'm still wow. blessed. Wow. Wow. Wow, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's really sucks. Anyway, but so we're, we're going down memory lane already. We're talking about different stages in, in, in Dickie's yeah. life. Maybe we should enter our segment already, guys. Let's enter the first segment of our show. It's called The Time Capsule. And uh, the Time Capsule is brought to us by Fitbit. Okay? It helps everyone in the world get healthier from counting your steps to giving personalized insights on your heart rate and sleep patterns. Log your exercise and access great tools and content on the Fitbit Premium, all on the Fitbit platform. Check out their line of products on Fitbit.com. Feel the power. Yes, sir. Yeah, no, naka Fitbit si Noel. Zarate. Binibili mo ba talaga steps mo, Mr. Zarate? Okay. 10 stories na daw ang inakyat ko. 10 stories na. 10 stories. Pasok na tayo. Let's enter the time capsule. Let's, let's go back in time and look at the photos. And here is what he's talking about. Oh, yeah, PSQ Marketing. Grand Slam Champions 84-85. Di ba? Yeah. And if you will see, Mr. Bachman yeah, is at the back. Fourth player from the right. Yeah. And that was Ronnie. That you was were the Japan, tallest. Though. Yeah. Yeah. That's Harmon. Villa Pando, Eric uh, Altamirano. Yep. Grabe yung team na yan, ha? Pang, pang Ad- national Ad- team yan, eh. Adonis Tierra, Tierra yata yep. is there also. Yes, eh? yes. yes. Tierra and, ano, and uh, Epoy, yeah. Almasco on the yeah. front. Yeah, Epoy. Yeah. Who's this guy beside you, Juan? Uh, who's this? The dance to Cosino. Oh, si Cosino. There's, yeah, there's somebody from that. Yeah. Guzman. Yeah, yeah. Hindi ko nakilala yung mga yan. Yeah, yeah. same. Yeah. Ricky Kui, no? Ricky Kui. Yeah, Ricky Kui also. Ricky Kui. One of the times that Kui and, 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 and Ampalayo yeah. were together because, well, Ampalayo was a runaway Rookie of the Year winner in 86. But I think Capasho was, was there. Yeah, Capasho was, was there also. Yeah, yeah Glenn's Capasho there. So there. The front. Yeah. Yeah. Front, yeah. front left beside Jojo Villapando. Yeah. Uh, but, 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 Chairman, this was like yeah. the, the coming up out party of Joe Pano. This was where he yes. became very, very popular. Um, yes. What was your assessment of Joe Pas coaching? Uh, it was basically very strict and very tough practices. You know, uh, you know, I, he introduced me, especially in the RPUs. He introduced me to three times a week training. You know, from mm-hmm. from oval in the morning, from weights in the lunchtime, and then practice in the evening. So that was my my first experience coming from high school. Uh, you know, yes. with high school, madagilang yung practices, di ba? Uh-huh. But when you, then this is my first. Um, uh, initiation of you know hard uh, hard training. <laughs> but during practice, of course, you're, you're you're 16 years old and you have to guard Harmon Codinera in practice. I mean, how quick was your maturity level from a high school player to probably a, a potential pro? A semi pro. Uh, yeah, very yeah. quick. You know, so you know, I'm blessed, actually, actually to actually have uh, experienced that. You know, and that was my first first experience of what you know con- contracts and. Uh, and money, I didn't really care. You know, my my dad was the one handling, and I I didn't even care about the money. You know, I just lo- love to play and love to practice. So that was wow. my first experience in you know negotiating per se. Magkano swell do na sixteen year old sa naglalaro sa PABL nun? I I I don't know. It was like almost like I agreed lang to you mga five hundred, one thousand nga ata. Oh. <laughs> I didn't actually care. My, my dad. I, well, actually, my, actually, didn't even reach me yata. Kino, na, kino yata ng airport. Grabe ka rin sa gas. May cut, may cut. Pagbigay sa'yo, 200 na lang. Wala pa 500 peso bill noon. Pag-juice mag, pag-juice mag, pwede na yan. And he was the one who actually taught me, you know, my first salary, give it to your parents. You know, then yeah. monthly salaries, you know, keep half, you know, then spend for half. So I learned that yeah, all yeah. to my father. 
Right, right. And then this is crazy. I mean, you're obviously the youngest in this team, no? I, mean, I don't, yes. I don't think there's anybody as young as you. And, and you were the baby yeah. of the bunch, but you're the biggest guy. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and of course, guys like Sila Harmon were, were beating you up in practice, probably. Yeah. Or trying to, no? Because si Harmon, by that time, but a grizzled veteran, si Harmon. Oh, mama, yeah. mama, eh. Yeah. <laughs> and this was a powerhouse team, and that's where uh, Jolipa got famous because we beat a powerhouse lager light yeah. team. Yeah, yeah, which was favored in that game. Although, you know, we've, we've talked about it with some previous guests. There was a strategy that you guys used to mm -hmm. limit uh, the, the star player on the other team. You know, the Bangus Habanyan, Noel, and, and then Jay, yeah. no? yeah. the past guest, there, there, was, there was this defensive scheme that you guys now did against, uh, was it Jerry Codinera? Or, mm -hmm. On the other team, so that's why he wouldn't get the ball or whatever. Well, it worked. You know, it, it, yeah. The fact that yeah. it works. So, galeng. This is yeah. an awesome photo, actually. When we found this in the past, I go, wow, did Dicky Bachman buy it? go, so we didn't, we didn't know that you were there, and it's actually yeah. been mentioned on the show that you played as a young player on this. What, Let's go to the next the, photo, Carla. Well, yeah, but, uh, before we go, sorry, I just want to have a question yeah. because what did the older guys say about your potential at the time, uh, Dicky? Because uh, you're a 16 year old. I'm sure bilo buska buska kanila, but at the same time, they said, oh, this kid can be someone. Actually, actually, all these players basically were all like my brothers. You know, at first when I stepped in, they, you know, you know, they were sizing me up, diba? Right? And then after all, after a few days, then big lang, they started teaching me, which I did appreciate it. You know, Don Don Apalay was one of my close friends there. Uh, you have Ronnie, wow. you have Eric, and the one also teaching me is also see Epoy Almasco. So yeah. I got close to all of them. Nice, so nice. that was actually not my big brothers now who taught me the. The, kumbaga, the gulang part of the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Did it teach you that in San Agustin? Kasi, the gulang part. Yeah. Wala. Yeah. Wala. Wala. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Ini -invento> <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Next photo, Carla. Let's, let's, let's move on to the next one. That was a great one. But here you are. So you're in La Salle. But even prior to La Salle, uh, you also joined the, the youth team. Diba? The RP youth team. Yeah. Correct, correct, so, correct. How did that come about? How did you, were there tryouts you were invited or were you directly hired mm -hmm. to play for the RPU team? What's the story? I think, I, I, if I remember right, I was invited to, to try out. I actually tried out for the, for the men's RP team and then Jolipa told me, you know, uh, you didn't make the men's. You were being considered, but you made the RPU. So, so, so that, was, that was fine with me also. You just, and, you know, representing the country, men's team or RPU, that's fine with me. So I was still young anyway. But this is also my first, I think this is my first year. Well, my first, uh, my first LaSalle team was basically when we joined, when LaSalle joined the PABL. And my teammates were, were uh, Konichi Itori, Franz Komaren, and, and then mm -hmm. Alfie Almario, mm -hmm. Waki Garcia. So, right. and then this was my, my succeeding uh, with LaSalle already. Pictures. Yeah. Yeah, so, so this year, this was 1987, 87 ito, 86, 86. Yeah, yeah. so right. then you have yeah. to... Yeah, we have planners there kasi, so 86 na yan. Yeah, big guy beside Joey and, and yourself? That Lakson. was R Raymond Lacson. Ah, Raymond Lacson. 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 So he was okay. my... Actually, he was the first 6'9 uh, I saw in a Filipino when I, when I, mm -hmm. when I got, got to yeah, the yeah. Lasal. Yeah. Tapos si Joey, mukha action star. Si Joey, mukha action star. May bigotilio pa, oh. <laughs> yeah. ano, Miguel Rodriguez ba? Miguel yeah. Rodriguez. Oh, ganun din eh. Ganun yung dating. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Who's this guy on the so, front, nga, Mr. Chairman? The guy on the left? Left. Alfable. Eric Alfable, Franz Pomaren, Mike Wong. No, the one before Alfable. Before Alfable. Wait, I forgot. But this is, uh, this is uh, no, uh, Coach. This, at the end, the right side is Waki Garcia. And then this yes, is yes, no, uh, the shell coach. Eddie. Perry, Perry. Yeah, yeah, Perry Ronquillo. Yeah, Perry Ronquillo. This the one, the last one I forgot. The one the end beside yeah. Derek is uh, Teddy Monasterio. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you guys mm -hmm. remember him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then of course you know, Via Plana beside me. Who's twenty one? Besides Santa Maria. Twenty one is uh, I already forgot his name. I'm sorry if okay. he's listening. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, the rest, but Mike Wang, Mike, Mike Wang, yeah, and then, yeah, okay, yeah, probably, yeah. yeah okay. Our captain ball here was Waki Garcia, and, and that's why we have all the green shoes of Adidas. He's, he yeah. loved the Celtics and uh, yeah, Larry Bird. Yeah. <laughs> and how did you fare in the PABL back then? 
okay naman you know uh, under Derek naman eh. it was always you were one of the one of the his main guys with uh, with Joey Santa Maria so okay, okay. naman Nine, yeah, nine, quickly, eight. quickly, can we just go Memorial? To... Uh, Memorial ba to? Uh, no, this is the La Salle, um, La Salle old La Salle gym. Okay. Ah, okay. okay, okay. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Can we just jump to the next photo, Carla? Because we were talking about it already. There, there you go. This is the RPU team. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, like, that's like, the best photo yeah, I've seen today. Uh, I don't know how that happened. I can't remember this. So you have Benji <laughs> or Jun Reyes. The disclaimer again. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how this happened. Na Photoshop, I was lying. I was actually lying down in a different picture. Na Photoshop lang ko inside there. I <laughs> <laughs> may Photoshop na back then, you know. <laughs> yeah, but it looked yeah, like yes. it, looked, it looked like you had a good time with these guys. Yeah. Obviously, para to to si para you know. Yeah, you know the Oriel Yosa, Real Obit, you know Bong Alvarez. You know, the, 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 the name, the name that stood out for me there was Mar Anthony Magada. Magada. Yeah, yeah. 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 Magada. Ay, Mar, Mar, hindi Mar ke, Mar Anthony Magada. Then you have Joey Guano, Eric Reyes, Nelson Ataitono. This is after the Joe. team also. Yeah, Bobby Bobby Joe. Joe. And Arnold Adlawan. Yeah. Mm. Yes. No, I, I remember I remember our Adlawan, you know, he missed practice the after evening practice, and then he said someone died in his family. So Joe Lipa, <laughs> Joe Lipa actually said, Oh, sige, pupunta kami niyon. Uh, ko call off namin yung practice. Pupunta kami lahat <laughs> yun. Yeah. Uh, nahuli. nahuli. <laughs> wala, wala pa lang namatay. Wala, wala, wala. Namatay. Sanay na, sanay na. Puti din nagpada na si Coach John ng bulaklak sa bahay niya. <laughs> sabi ni, sabi ni Jolie pa, ang, ang dami mong ano, kamang anak na pinapatay eh. <laughs> Batak na batak na si Jody pa sa ganyang excuse. <laughs> but a bunch of these guys became PBA. Well, became, almost all of them played in the PBA. Yeah. yeah. All except one. No? Only, did, did Adlawan get to play in the PBA? I don't think so. No? Uh, I don't. I don't. No, no, yeah, but, but the rest played in the PBA. So this was a pretty good yeah. team. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, happy, you know. I still talk to him till, till now. He's still on Facebook. So very, very nice. Who were yeah, you closest to in this, in this team? Yeah. Well, my roommate here was uh, Eric Reyes, but I was close to, um, you know, I was close to everyone. I'm friends with everyone. Yeah. And you were staying where at that time? Uh, this was in Manila, obviously, no? Where were you staying? That hotel, that hotel in near La Salle. It's, it's torn down near Adamson. Eh. I forgot the, that hotel. Near Adamson. Um, Ramada. Uh, Ra- no, not Ramada. Eh. There's another one. There's another hotel. I'm there. sure some one of our followers who's listening might know. Yeah. The hotel near Adamson. Yeah. Uh, Hilton. Yeah. Uh, no, it's not Hilton. It's a, it's a weird name. It's yeah, the, yung mga hindi masado sikat na na hotel. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yung mga Aloha. Yeah. <laughs> Aloha. Actually, Nelson. Actually, Nelson was supposed to be a Lasalite. Eh. So, okay. Lang, he, yeah, hotel Mirador. Lang. Hotel Mirador. There. 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 Well, thank Mirador. you, Mr. Omar Acosta. Mm-hmm. Nabuta ko pa naman. Nabuta pa naman natin yung Mirador. Oh naman. Oh, uh, there you go. I knew it. Somebody guy who's listening, they always know. Our followers are not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know if it's torn down or if it's still there but closed. Yeah. 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 Or, some, or it's something else already now. Yeah. It's something oh, yeah. else already now. Yeah. Is there a reason why you were, was number 12 assigned to you here or did you choose that? Uh, the, assigned to me. And I think, okay. no. I think La Salle already, I was number 12, so that's why. They, no, so, I okay, think. so you got that one. Huh? Yeah. So yeah, you were you, you, second place, yeah. Kayorito, diba? Second place, oh, Kayorito, you, yes. you lost yeah, in we, the finals. We yeah. lost to China in the finals. Yeah. And that so, was in the well, number 12. Uh, I'm just curious about how people pick their numbers. Eh? You were 12 in La Salle, 12 in the national team. Why number 12? Uh, well, uh, like, uh, basically, you know, uh, it's it's something I think like this Derek just, you know, because uh, I wanted 32, na hindi pwede. I wanted mm-hmm. 33, you know, pero I didn't want that pressure of my father, so I just, they, <laughs> just gave me whatever's available. 32 is magic. No, no. Makilian. Makilian. Makilian si chairman. Boss. Oh, but there's a question because you said it earlier that Nelson should have gone to La Salle. Somebody's asking, what happened? 
You know what happened? Uh, Why did Nelson yeah. not end up playing for Lasal? <laughs> well, the, he ha- he went through the entrance exam. Back then, the money, you know, every player yeah. had to have an entrance exam. Yeah. So you know, it was hard actually to you know to help out when I I, I think he didn't make the entrance exam. So yeah. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. He, he was tough. You know, there was also like Bonel Baling. It was there. You know, Noli yeah. Loxin. He made it. You know, so they went through all that because they were all under Derek Pomarin in uh, Magdolia. There's another guy. See, Dwight Lago was our guest a couple of weeks ago. Dwight mentioned see si Al uh, Fred Chiang almost yeah, made Fred, it to Las Vegas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah we had a big, you know, we had a huge uh, training uh, training team, uh, Team B. So, and uh, Fred Fritchy or Fred Chiang was part of oh. that that pool of uh, training team. Impressive. So you're you're ba- you're you're balancing your your I don't know you have PABL you have Philippine team then you have Lasal in Lasal initially talo kayo no first couple of years that you played uh, Ateneo yeah. nga beat you in, in eighty seven no eighty what year was it eighty eight yeah. yeah that was the, you you don't, that yeah you don't want to talk about that so much no that that, that game no that was, that was a chamba <laughs> shot. Chamba shot. Chamba shot of Jun Reyes. <laughs> you know, if you zoom in, if you zoom in, okay, you see his eyes were closed. <laughs> he just, he just threw it up like that, no? He just threw it up. Because he's just like Jun Reyes, so he's just like a man. You know, we became, you know, we became good friends the man. You know, from the RPU, so we were, we were friends already. Yeah. And, yeah. Then, uh, and then the Ateneo, you know, the Ateneo okay, how, was, uh, was yeah, wild then, right? Yeah. Yeah, how heated was it during that time? Did you hate them no. when the, during that finals, the first finals? And then, diba, you, you, the, uh, kayo, the June Reyes shot, Dindo was still with you guys, Limpot was a freshman. Yeah, I, I don't think that, you know, uh, the hate, but, you know, there, there's a couple of players that, you know, Medyo Sobrana na went over the overboard. Now, you know, there's like Sep Canlas, you had Nieto. So those, yeah. were the, those were the players that, you know, uh, Lasal, our players didn't like. And then yeah, on their part, the man, that's a hit list, yo. That's a hit list. Yeah. And then on their part, the man, they didn't like Ding Lasa na man yata. Eh. So, of course. Uh, yeah. Of course. Yeah. 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 Si Rafa was always sa sabay yung kasi ni Rafa si Jet niya to sa hiritan, di ba? Oh. Yeah. You know, you know, I came from. Remember, I'm not full blooded Lasal. I came from San Agustin, so yeah. I, you know, I, I understood the rivalry, but I more enjoyed, you know, playing against them, the crowd. That the game was nice and a lot of people watching. I I enjoyed that more rather than going back at each other or that. Actually, in Rambo, in Rambo, uh, it was that in ultra ultra yata yon eh. You know, mm-hmm. junior junior race. And I were like, pang, or just stopping everyone because we knew each other from the RPUs. Yeah, that's right, that's right. See Eric Reyes, di naman, di ba? As a rookie, yeah. pa si Eric Reyes. You can't you cannot dislike Eric Reyes. So yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mahirit yeah. yun eh. Mahirit din yung Eric Reyes na yun eh. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Eric Reyes basically, he was my roommate and a niya my vitamins. So, so he was actually sharing his vitamins. So I have to be nice to him. <laughs> <laughs> yun, performance but, enhancing drugs. Yun. Kaya ganyan oh, yeah. yun, ngayon, kaya malaki pa rin katawan. PD if, I, if I remember right, may mga ginseng, ginseng pa during, during the back, back that, that time. Tino <laughs> 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 naman It's, it's working until been, now. Right? It would have been really ano, an, an, an interesting story if it was Benji Paras and Dickie Bachman in the same room. Ano? Do you yeah, have any Benji Paras anecdotes that you can share from, from your days but, in the U.T.? Because but he was si Raul, an, okay. <laughs> But he was an a, really an athlete, you know. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, before big big men actually, dapat may may buelo to dunk, di ba? But this, but Benji was basically on a standstill. Uh, he can actually get up there and slam the ball, di ba? He, I think mm-hmm. he was the actually first players to do that, you know, mm-hmm. with, with strength. And then he was also a cool guy off court, di ba? He was like, like a comedian. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, <laughs> And he really enjoy, enjoyed that and making people laugh and ma- making people feel at home also in the team. So, I'm yeah, looking yeah, at this. Nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, another high leaper then. Bong Alvarez could actually pretty much do the same thing. But and Nelson the same thing. Yeah. And Nelson yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. Tama, tama, tama. Yeah. But Benji, Benji basically had an easier time just getting up and, and mm. dunk it right away. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I'm looking at this photo. In this photo alone, you have Asaitono, you have Benji Paras, Eric Reyes. Of course, there were some other guys in the, during that period, the uh, Dicky, si, si Jericho Diniera, etc. So you're you're a center and you're playing against all these these big guys. Grabe, Jack Tanuan also, I guess, with yeah. FU, yeah. etc. How was that like playing against all these 
ang lalaki parang you, you, there you really feel yeah. siguro yeah. 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 I'm not yeah you know I the, the first big guys I played with was uh, Toma Cruz Babylonia well, and then right. Benji yeah. you know I think yeah. these big men were were more of power power players then I was more of the the finesse and uh, you know, the quick jump jump hook so we were totally different and sometimes I would actually step out to the 15 18 and maybe hit a jump shot sometimes Ooh. but you know uh, <laughs> but like Tanuan, all that were all power I, power players rebounds you know strong so I just had to battle on that on that end but off, yes. offensively the man uh, you know kaya naman, uh, no, to go around them and 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 make my moves off them you know, mm-hmm. I had to work double time on the strength of boxing them out, you know, keep them out of the paint. So it was yeah. something I learned also. And you played okay, exclusively at center, no? Yeah. Actually, I Sorry. wanted that. Uh, I, 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 want, I, I, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, I was actually, just thinking about the law. You, no, you wanted to be power forward? Tony's question first. Yeah, yeah. You know, actually, I wanted to be, you know, like, I wanted to do, because I, I play... I play in the in the Dasma leagues, you know, the not serious basketball. So I do actually bring down the ball. So, and, and <laughs> <laughs> but when it comes to when it comes to uh, La Salle and the APABL, you know, coaches back then was more more of ah oh, you know, go stay inside, mm. stay inside, don't shoot outside, <laughs> yeah, yeah. don't dribble mm. the ball, all that. So that was back then, and and now it's different, you know. Yeah, they yeah. they actually teach the big guy to actually bring down the ball and you know run the offense actually, so so different. Yeah, did you ever get to work with Ron Jacobs before? No, no, no. No, so no. Ron wasn't part of Nasal anymore. Ben, I know when you were no more. They were the Kowanko wasn't I know wasn't involved there. It was uh uh Ding, uh Pompoy Ding Lasan. Oh, kasi after ano yun, after revolution na yan eh. after yeah. yeah. na yan eh, so, Sayang ay, when I when I heard all the stories diba, of you know uh, the Kuwanko when ha- Kuwanko handed the Lasal team, they we the, all the players stayed in the Kuwanko house. Mm-hmm. You know, the shoes were all there, diba? You park your cars there, and there was a gate, a secret gate that you just uh, pass through there, and you get you're in Lasal na, diba? So I missed all of that. <laughs> <laughs> Sayang. Look, when going back to Lasal, when going back to Lasal, when Jun Limpot uh, came on board, I mean, was he? You, you already knew he was a special player, right? And then how how easy was your job suddenly when when Jun Limpot joined Lasal? Uh, well, Jun was a was. We all knew that he had he had a talent, but you know when he came in, pa wala pang experience. But and he was actually wasn't that strong yet. But you could see the the moves, the jump shots, all that. So he had it. And then I think I got I injured my I injured my knee and that's where he actually flourished. Uh, I had a, a MCL MCL injury, but you know hats off to uh, to Limpot. Now he really worked hard, you know. And then he, all the stuff all the stuff he was taking to actually build muscle, uh, he, which he did continuously and he worked in his game. So you know, hats off to him. You know he what he is it today what he made in the PBA. Yeah, he deserved it. Yeah, yeah. So here's here's the other team that you played for in the PABL. So yes. and, and we're showing this, we're showing this uh, sunod, sunod because this really happened almost at the same time, right? La Salle, RPU, yeah. ESQ, yeah, just a little yeah. before that in Magnolia. Mm. So you were really busy. Basketball was your life uh, at yeah. that time. So this is another strong team. You know, so lakas ng ESQ, yeah. pero lakas din ito. Laki ni Gido, no? Yeah. Laki yeah. ni Gido, no? <laughs> Gido, Nelson, then you had from, from Mama's Love, si Villapando. Yeah, so, <laughs> and, then, and then my 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 actually and you had Ed, Edgar Macaraya also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Juntan yeah, yeah, also. He was in the Lager Light team at that. Si Juntan. Yeah, mm-hmm. he was in the NCC team, I believe, with with Dean. Do. Yes, he was. Romy Lopez and Carlito Romy Mejos. Lopez. Yeah, but my idol here, my idol here was Jong Ichigo. Yeah, he was oh. a he was yeah. actually a player in a. In a didn't actually like to practice, but when you when it comes to the game, so brang galing, so the power galing. forward, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the name of the Jong? Nam bola, kaya rin magdala ng bola ni Jong, di ba? Kaya yeah. What 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 did you like him? Uh just just how how smart he is, you know, and okay. the energy he did in, in when, when he played when he played, Ooh. and you know jump shots, you might drive to the basket, you know, he's an all around player. Actually, when I played for La Salle, when we played abroad, 
with Joey. Our imports were Jong with Chico and Nelson Asaitono. Ooh. And oh, we wow. reached, we played Yata in, I don't know, was it Korea? And then we, and then we reached the finals. And then when we got to the finals, before the game, they had fireworks. And the, those rockets were supposed to go from court to court. But it went straight to the, the ceiling and the, the gym burned down. Whoa. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It went straight up to the ceiling and the gym burned down. And then we just went back to the locker room and left the building. And next day we went home. They were actually stopping us to wow. play the next day. So we said, we're not going to win. Oh, it's the venue. It's eh, <laughs> 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 wow. Who's the right? number 14? Number 14 here is uh, Navarro. Uh, is that Navarro? Villapan, was it Villapando? Villapando? No, no. I don't yeah, know. So. This was a San Sebastian player. Eton. San Eton Navarro. Is that Eton Navarro? Eton Navarro. Eton Navarro. Eton Navarro. Eton Navarro. Yeah. And the little guy on the front, Jerry Gonzalez, number 12. Yeah, Jerry oh, Gonzalez. Gonzalez. Yeah. But the, and the rest are familiar naman to us. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Coach yeah. Elga, you? Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. And then their captain ball here was, I think, was Dindo Yata. Dindo. Most likely, yeah. yeah. So reunited yeah. Kayuni Dindo Rito. Uh, after I think this is, a this is 88. Huh? Yeah, this is a finest gym. Finest gym, yeah. maybe. Yeah. yeah. Dito number right. seven, ka naman, Jaworski ka naman dito. Yeah, but this one, uh, the, the, the team just gave it to me, so I didn't really yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Sino mga idol mo, Dicky, growing up, aside from your dad, of course? I mean, who were the guys you would watch on TV and, and then maybe in college when you were well, high school? In, well, I really watched that Toyota team you know, from San Agustin. Mm -hmm. uh, they were actually practicing there. And, you know, after our practice, we practiced before them. And mm -hmm. Jaworski was the type of... Uh, Coach and player that you know says hi, says hi to everyone, and and I would sit down there and watch the whole practice before I actually go home. Uh, wow! And that was that was mostly like almost every day already. And then Biglang, he also he also he came early and he watched our practice. Then he invited me and Joey to attend his practice, so we would actually join the Toyota practice. You know, Does he Tony know you Ray as the son? Ah. I I don't think so. I don't think. Wow. So. Okay. All yeah, right. I don't think so. So big laan lang yan eh. Well, my favorite players are you know basically uh, from Toyota. You have the worst team. Are nice. You know, uh, Danny Florencio. Mm -hmm. Okay. Of course. Of course. Mo, I was watching also Mon Fernandez. You know the, mm -hmm. the elegant shot. You know. Mm -hmm. And then imports wise, you know, there's Donny Ray Coons was my favorite. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And the fields was my favorite, also. Mm -hmm. uh, so <laughs> but you notice know, most of his favorite players are guards, no? So you really wanted you wanted to be a guard. Like, that's yeah, most big men want yeah. to be. Big men yeah. want to be guards. <laughs> yeah, Derek was holding me back. Eh? You know, I wanted to bring down the ball, but he was holding me back. <laughs> 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 I, I hope he's not watching. <laughs> he actually usually tall, does. Tall guard kasana, tall pole guard kasana, oh, di ba? I know, right? I know. Jokic siya yeah. na, no? Oh, oh, oh. Before Nikola Jokic, there was Dicky Bachman. <laughs> I know, <laughs> right? <laughs> so, galing. A nice photo, nice clear photo. Let, let's just go to the next one. I think this is an Alasal photo as well, Carla, no? Yeah. There you are. There's, and speaking of Jung Limpot, yeah. Tita Tessa Hasmines. Tita Tessa yeah. Hasmines. So you won. That's why she's interviewing you guys. You probably won a game here. I think this is my, uh, the, one of the best players, Shata. I have no idea. I totally mm -hmm. forgot. Co yeah, co best player, yeah. Ko yeah, so yeah. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm glad. You know, uh, one thing with Derek is for the older players to mentor in the new ones. So, you know, I actually... Uh, was handling uh, you know, Noli Loxin, uh, Jun Limpot on, on, you know, when we were in the team. So I'm, I'm actually happy and glad, you know, that he actually performed and reached the PBA and made, him, made, made a name for himself in the PBA. How many, how many years did you play for LaSalle, Diggy? I mean, there's a comment on, on, the, when, on our Facebook post when we announced you're going to be our guest. Yeah. You missed the 1989 season? 89. Yeah, that was the time I got injured, Yata, or... Mm -hmm. I I missed it. 
Yeah. So you weren't on the roster, but were you there when they won the championship in '89? You were watching. Were you yeah, in the venue? I, yeah, I was there. I was there doing rehab, but I didn't. I wasn't in the lineup. So, so okay. I was still involved. Yeah. Okay. Then in 1990, you won, no, back to back, and yeah. uh, you were there, active, kind of, right? Yeah. Uh, Correct. Who was your backup? You, you were starting no, at center. That that uh, Hinebra coach that actually claims that he's a number one shooter. You know, that's Richard Del Rosario. <laughs> Number one overall pick in the second round, though, sir. <laughs> there was like Bimbo, Bimbo Mababa. Yeah, there was a lot of uh, si, si, a lot By that time, wala na si Peralta. Peralta was still there, also. He was still there. Isa ba yon? The guy was a. That was a wow. He was a beast. Player. Yeah, yeah, he was a beast. I was expecting him to actually uh, get to the PBA. You know. Mm-hmm. Because he was in the amateur leagues and then I was expecting him to reach the PBA. But he was one, one fine, one one fine player. Palaban. Yeah. Yeah. Super palaban well, yun, man. I, well, I, I yan. That. Yeah. 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 yeah the guy was great. So, a nice, nice clear photo of you here in your we're, LaSalle uniform. Yeah, we're actually, we're actually still in touch now. We have this vibrant group of the LaSalle players. And we oh, still great. communicate with everyone. You should tell them they get mentioned. All those guys get mentioned here on the show. Eh? When you Lasal guys come on, obviously they get mentioned. Yeah. Monasterio and uh, and again, the guy Peralta and, and all yeah, this. Waki Garcia, Waki Garcia, ilang beses na yan na mentioned dito. Yeah, actually, Waki Garcia, I thought basically, you know, he would also make the PBA, but I, I think he decided after graduation, yeah, to just to focus on work and help. There, there was but, there was a story that the si Eddie Villaplana hit 116 points in one game. Were you in that game? Yes, I, I think uh, with all the three points he shot and all that, but he was a you know a, a great great shooter or a great yep, shooter. Yep. Yeah. Hundred sixteen, that's ridiculous. Yeah, no, yeah, kababata ko talaga. I grew grew up yeah. with Eddie. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Good, yeah, good good friend. Yeah, yeah. He was yeah, another player. Le- Legend sa Dasma yan. Legend sa Dasma league yan, di ba? Yeah, correct. Uh, he was actually uh, one of those players that actually could have made the PBA also. Because I think he got injured yata his knee yata. Yeah, but. Yeah. His knee, yeah. When he was yeah. with Burger Machine or something, one of those, yeah, one of those. Teams, yeah. yeah. If you get to hey, interview up? him, he has a he has a, a skill, you know, using his saliva. So when you get to interview <laughs> him, ask him about that. I will I'll ask him later for sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna message <laughs> ask him. Ask him. Right? Ask him. Ask him. He has a Call talent next, using next his saliva. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is La Salle. So this is yeah, the championship. Champion. No? 1990. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Adi Papa, Monasterio, Wang, and that's Gia Bonilla. Yep. Uh, there's there's that, that guy, the shooter, right. the best shooter, yeah. Uh, yeah, Gru- yeah. Oh. there. Uh, then you have George Gonzalez, a statistician, Dwight Lago. Yeah. Mang Leos are taper who passed away already. Si Jun yep. Limput, may, ano ba, may the growing ba sa kanya may tape talaga siya dito sa ilong? No, I think he busted his no- his nose. Okay, okay. So, yun ang yun ang yun ang yun ang ginamit. Walang ano, wala pang mask mask dun. <laughs> oh, nga. Di ba? Wala pang yun. <laughs> tape na lang. <laughs> tape na lang. May okay, foam yeah. yata yan eh. May foam tapos tape. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, that's right. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. At least you got your, you got your UAAP championship. Yeah, this is also a Castello. Uh, na- Pons. Pons Castello. Pons, Pons Castello. Yeah. Pons, yeah. yeah. So some of these faces, for those who still watch the PBA until now, uh, among our followers, because I know a lot of you don't anymore, but some of you still do, their faces here are still very regular in the PBA, aside from, of course, Mr. Bachman. There's De Rosario, yeah, Rosario, Cardell, and Abanilla yeah. are there Abanilla, all the time. Abanilla. Yeah. yeah. And I think see Ver Herod, uh, the one who's behind yeah, yeah. Yeah, Alpha, Ver he, yeah, he passed away. Yeah, wow. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the kid, the kidney thing. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so, still... yeah. 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 Nice. Nice Happy to look at that. Uh, what did you I guys know? Did, 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 did... Huh? What's that? What's that? Richard Del Rosario, I actually didn't, don't have this picture, but it's nice. Nice. Oh, we can send it. I can send it we to you. We can send it to you. Yeah. Padala ko sa'yo. Diba? So, yeah, obviously, galing and then masaya kayo dyan. Did you travel after this? I think uh, our travel was uh, San Diego yata. Eh. San Diego oh, and then, oh. yeah. 
Must yeah. have been fun, man. Bunch yeah. of young guys, college guys going out of town, going out of the yep. country together. Must have been really good. Yep. <laughs> Maraming kalokohan na, hindi mo pwedeng i- kwento siguro. Hindi pwede, hindi pwede. Pag, ano, <laughs> pag face-to-face na lang, may, may kunting beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pag tayo tayo na lang, yeah. pag tayo tayo na lang, oh, Mr. Chairman. Oh, pero the Calocon, oh, hey. pero the Calocon is Richard Del Salle naman eh. Eh, siya, siya ba talaga? <laughs> would sino ba, sino ba maloko sa mga yan? Who are the... Uh, si Guste, yeah, loko-loko yeah. din niya si Guste. <laughs> no comment, no comment. No comment. <laughs> not, I know for a fact. Lana, and I'm sure it's not Lago. I'm sure they're quiet. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but the rest, I don't know. I don't know about these other people. <laughs> but Castello on this picture, you think, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> para, para eh. I think that's the, that's the first half of our slides, guys. Uh, mm-hmm. So we'll take a short break just to let everybody know, remind them that we are part of the Globally Balling Network. Carla, next man up is another show on the network. So please check that one out. Um, that's with Diego and Jello. Watch and listen to us on Spotify. And if you do that, please give us a five-star rating. Ah, please. Huwag ah, lang four, one and three. Five lang. Become our AOB Podcast Monthly Supporter for $4.99 or 250 pesos. Uh, and we will love you forever and recognize you in our future episodes. Thank you to like Joseph, that. Leslie, and Ramon Dizon for being our members or our uh, supporters on Globally Ball and uh, in Eternity Basketball Spotify. And check out the Globally Ball in Southeast Asia page for tidbits of all the different shows on the network. So we enter our second part of the time capsule. This is as well uh, still brought to us by Fitbit, which helps everyone in the world get healthier from counting your steps to giving personalized insights on your heart rate and sleep patterns. Log your exercise and access great tools and content on the Fitbit Premium, all on the Fitbit platform. Check out their line of products on Fitbit.com. Feel the power. Ayan. Okay. So natin. What's the next photo, Carla? Yeah, this is PBA already. Ooh, At a certain yeah, point in your yeah. armature career, uh, Mr. Bachman, you finally decided it's time to go to the PBA. Sabi mo na udlot ngayon because of the, the syndrome that you got. And then uh, you almost went PBS, to Ginebra. Yeah. Didn't happen. Then you declare for the 1993 yeah. PBA draft. What made you decide that, that it's time already? Uh, when I started, I was able already to move. And I've been practicing already for Ginebra for two months. Okay. And I and I was actually participating in their practice games already, so I decided, uh, where And then actually Robert Chowerski, you know, told me that you know, uh, since Pablo is, I'm gonna get Pablo in the first round, then my second round pick would be you. So you okay. know, I appreciated that, and I actually signed up for the draft. And it just so happened that I think uh, Alaska had three picks. I believe. I, I yes. don't remember right. So it was yeah. it was so it was Johnny uh, Cardell and then I was okay. the last pick in the yeah. first round. Which round? The guy that they ABC draft in Alaska, Barrientos, Bachman, Cardell. Yeah. Mm. And then so the next day I rushed to the Hinember practice and I just thanked everyone in the team, especially uh, Jurski, mm-hmm. uh, for giving me that opportunity so, to pra- to train with them. So Alaska didn't give you a a heads up that they were gonna get you. Yeah. No, no, I was I was ready for for Hidebra. Wow, how things would have changed, no? We've heard this several times on the show, of course. Now they thought they were going to be drafted by somebody, but it mm-hmm. happened another way. But yeah, yeah but then, then then you became an Alaska lifer after that. Yeah, uh, yeah, for all my life already, you know. Uh, from you were drafted together a... with your teammates, so Limpot, Lago, Cardel, and then you. Yeah. So apat kayo in the first oh, yeah. round alone. So that was a strong yeah. team, obviously. Let me ask though, um, was was there an effort on Jurski's part to trade someone for you? Uh, I didn't. I didn't basically ask or or I will I yata What's uh, okay. I just said? I just went there the next day and, and said, said said thank you. And, yeah, and, to, to and got players. down to like business. A, yeah, yeah, I got like close to. Because Nebra was uh, weak at a certain spot. As yeah. always. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was actually. Uh, Subbing uh, Kabatu by by then yeah. in the practice games. Yeah. 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 And then you had Chito, you had Nonoi, Ch- no, no, um, what's Chico this? Chico. 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 Yeah. 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 yeah that, that, that uh, team. Tunichi, but then now instead of that, you end up you end up being here uh, as his photo shows. That's Alex Araneta yeah, for those who don't remember. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Alex. Alex basically were family friends, uh, but we did actually, um, you know, we didn't actually talk to each other. But my, my parents and his 
and his parents know each other. I think his dad and my dad were teammates, but we don't hang out together because he he actually studied in that small school in in. Katipunan. <laughs> 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 the blue one, the blue school, ah. Huh? Para parang malaki yeah. naman, ah. <laughs> so, uh, so, sorry, uh, Al, Al Palillo. Sorry, uh, Erica D. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yung mga yung mga blue na kasama natin yan. Uh, yeah, sa yeah. Diba? So, but so, you, uh, Alex, then, I mean, you, 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 when did you meet, really? When did you start talking? Dito na, sa Alaska. No, so I knew of him, and then because okay. we're of, of family, and then I think that the time he beat us, he beat us in the UAP. All of a sudden, in our beach house, I see him. Um, his parents would go to, went to my house, and for dinner, and then he came along. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we started drinking, and I told my my family get him drunk, <laughs> which 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 happened, and he was wasted okay. in the house. You know, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to the Then we became good friends. We became best friends actually in Alaska. Yeah. yeah. Until now. What's the number of choice? Oh? Kevin McHale versus ano, David Robinson. Yeah. Yeah. Or Ralph, that was Ralph Samson was 50 as well. Right? Yeah, Ralph, yeah. Yeah, Ralph Samson. Time. You're right. Yeah. I was, that was the only time uh, when I was allowed to wear 32. Now it was, it was open. Yeah. yeah, kasi PBA, ano, yeah. open na yung numbers yeah. eh, all the way. Eh. Sa amateur, yeah. ano pa eh. Limitado pa yung numbers. Eh. So there you are in, in the Alaska practice. You meet this guy, Tim Cole. Did you know Tim prior to that? I only knew of him uh, in the Dasma games. Uh, okay. I used yeah, to play yeah, right. in the Dasma. So you had the Martin Martin after dark team. You know, Alpha yeah. Nilo was there. I uh-huh. think Tim also played for the Dasma before. So that's where I knew of Yeah, it. tsaka bayaw niya si ADV, eh, di ba? Mm-hmm. Yeah, correct, correct. Oh, yeah. Bayaw niya si ADV yeah. plan, eh, so yeah. Okay, so how was it? I mean, what did he say to you when you got there? What was expected of you uh, on, on that team? You know, it was an easy transition because he is, he is definitely a good coach. Uh, besides being a good coach, he's also a teacher. You know, you know attention to details of, you know, about the basics of basketball. So, you know, that was an easy transition. And then for me also to move up after the, my playing career to assistant coach, you know, it was very easy because I knew his system, I knew his style. So uh, that's why he has all these awards today because he's a really good coach and a very good teacher. When he started bringing in the triangle uh, in Alaska, I mean, did you take to it easily or was it a tough transition learning the triangle? Uh, Maybe for me it was easy, but you know this is a stage that you know he studied the triangle. You would see that basically he would watch the Chicago Bulls tapes. You know back then was VHS VHS right? so a double heads by the VHS. So he would actually rewind and just watch all the watch all the the, the plays, uh, break it down all the plays, and you know every every option of the triangle would break it down. So. And, but uh, that was easy to understand because he actually explained it properly. And then he actually flourished when he actually met uh, Tex Winter. When Tex Winter mm-hmm. came along, uh, came to the Philippines, yeah, he was able to sit, sit down. But for, for Tim to actually learn the triangle and teach the triangle and doing it on his own you know, by breaking down, that's, that's a mark of a good, good, good coach already. You know, hats mm-hmm. off, you know, so respect. You know. You know, some players who, you know, will give up already, you know, because so you don't call any place. So that was a mark of a good coach. Yeah, yeah. His resume speaks for itself, obviously, right yeah. now. So, yeah. so this is you. I just have a question about Alex Araneta, you know. Um, well, we invited him on the show. Uh, you know, he doesn't really want to come on. Uh, it was tough for him, though, no? because yeah. he was a number one pick. Number one pick, she. So a lot was expected of him, even yeah. if his uh, college career wasn't so so uh, successful individually. You know, what would yeah. he would he what would he tell you? Was he was his mind in the game? I mean, when he, when you guys were teammates, um, he would actually like we were like brothers. You know, uh, yeah. we were brothers, and basically, um, he he actually could have went all the way if. If he just didn't, didn't get injured, because he was one of those players that pang malas lang, you know, in two hood, yeah. yeah. So he had uh, yeah, he was a, he had a lot of injuries that can actually uh, did, didn't allow him to perform properly, and he uh-huh. came it, he came to uh, at a stage that 
it either was choosing playing, playing hurt, or risking playing, uh, playing with his kids in the future. So, you know, hats, you know, total respect for him, uh, actually letting go of the game. Because when he left Alaska, we started winning. Okay. And then, uh, and then he joined uh, the management program of Alaska. And Fred took him in. And then he became, he went all around, all around the departments of Alaska and learned the business. And then after, worked for the company for a few years and then decided to go on his own in Australia. Yeah. You know, so much respect also. Yeah. But sayang lang, uh, sayang lang. If, you know, if he was healthy, uh, you know, he could be an added, you know, uh, you know, power uh, teammate uh, center in Alaska with going to the Grand Slam. Yeah, super, super athletic, eh. Grand yeah, yeah. The way yeah. he would dunk, uh, you know, at the yeah. time, he was uh, yeah. a joy to watch when he was doing all his exhibitions during the warm-ups yeah. and everything. Grabe dumaktak yan, I remember. Yeah. Uh, he was one of those players who was like a, a rat gym. Puro, you know, the, with the weights, you know, the you know, leg press, yeah, so big bigat. Yeah. So he was one of those players that loved the gym. You think right. he would have been a better player had he played for another team? For another coach i you know i wouldn't think so because tim was basically a good teacher yeah. right um, right he, he was a great for me the best teacher right and Look at the next that, yeah. yeah there you go you mentioned yeah. winning yeah you mentioned winning and then you you came in at a great time I, what a, i mean you know seven year career but you were winning all the time yeah you, know, you yeah. guys you guys just kept winning and winning and yeah. Crazy lineup. Look at, look at this lineup, man. Uh, you with Johnny wow. there, you know, Bong Hawkins, and then you have Jojo, then you have Jeffrey, and then Poch. And then, of course, you add on the your import, the 100%, mm-hmm. who didn't like 94. to lose. This is 94, yeah. I think, though. You know, he, he played in, in conferences that what? Was import, import height was even taller than him, and he yep, actually yep. performed. Yeah, he actually he's won. Like this guy, he's like this guy, Brownlee, now. But it's just Brownlee, yeah, that, I think it's 95 because uh, 94 or 95. Yeah, Kriyas is a rookie. 95. Oh, yeah, Kriyas is a rookie. 95. And just the favorite player, si Roel Gomez. Yeah, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Three yeah. Pointer. Yeah. Come and shoot three and sit down. <laughs> yeah. That's Giovanni, no? Pineda? Yeah. Beside yeah. you, no? Yeah, Giovanni Pineda of Adamson. Then you have Bolado, right. the late Bolado. And then yeah. Kevin Ramos. Si Kevin yeah. Ramos. He looks so tall, but apparently he's not. No, I mean, hindi ganon yeah. katangkad pala, no. Pero parang, yeah. just, di ba kaya sa Kevin Ramos dahil para sa si Kevin Bakilio katawan niya, di ba? Mm-hmm. Albert yeah, Ramos you, naman talaga yun, eh, di ba? <laughs> yeah, but if you look at him, uh, y- yung skill niya basically he has long arms. Okay? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So people people forget to see that when you look at him. He may not be tall, parang haba lang kamay niya. And then he has a, a short jumper, and of course, physical din and magulang din. So. Yeah, I liked that, him. That, I liked him as a player. Yeah. I remember him. How, how yeah. special was that combination of Abarientos, Lastimosa, and Hawkins to the success of uh, this team? Of course, later on, you well, Carriasso, but yeah. Yeah, but that's very, very special. You know, there's, you know, these are three players that, you know, walang ego, ego. You know, whoever's hot that night, you know, the ball will go there. And also to the triangle system, also, the, it goes, the ball goes to the, to the person, you know, who's open. You know, uh, Bo Hawkins was, you know, um i had a chance to actually guard him every day you know i didn't like that but you know that's where <laughs> i've learned also and i try to i guess my role in alaska basically was you know a role player a practice player but you know mm-hmm. i took i took that job seriously now to actually make bong better when he gets to the the games you know? so that's what basically i focused on and and bong actually uh did make it easy for me you know, he's one type of player that didn't like to lose, even in practice. Mm-hmm. So he would actually go at me and go at me. So I enjoyed that too. He's very a very, very smart player. Not athletic at all, but yep. very, very smart. Sabi nga nila, gapiso lang yung talon, pero grabe maglaro yun. De lata. If you look at this lineup, the perfect backup here for Johnny was Jun Reyes. Yeah. Mer- I think Merwin, Merwin here was basically... To uh, to what's this? Uh, uh, he just came into the team, eh? but he was mm-hmm. our, actually our import stopper. You know, he mm-hmm. was guarding imports. Yeah. I just want I just want to ask um, Tim Cohn when we guessed him on uh, EOD, 
mentioned that back in 93 or 94, he was close to resigning already uh, out of frustration because he um, uh, Alaska wasn't doing well at that time. Um, were you privy to this or private to this? Or, uh, and, and, uh, uh, what uh, sort, of, sort of changed things? I think uh, we weren't winning. And uh, I think Mr. Oi Teng Su is one person that basically wants to win and hates losing. Mm-hmm. So he was basically... Um, he was basically trying to shake things around, but you know, telling Tim also not to run the triangle. I believe, if I remember right, you know, and and Tim being smart, I hope that they're not listening. <laughs> Tim did. Tim did uh, was smart enough to hide the triangle, mm-hmm. and, and 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 Fred didn't see that. So, and we actually run the same thing, but we just hit it from the the how beginning of the offense. Huh? How do you how uh, do you hide that? Well, uh, from the beginning to off, beginning of the offense, you know, we do something. He did something before going into the triangle. Wow! So, okay, yeah, yeah. Just, you delay just, it, lang. You just delay the execution. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah disguised yeah. it, lang. And then oh, we yeah. started winning. We started winning, and you know, it stayed there. You know, uh, <laughs> you know, you know, throughout throughout the years, yeah. throughout the years, it became difficult for you know Alaska or even individual teams to win. And, you know, I won't speak why anymore, mm-hmm. but you know, it was a bit difficult, and, and that's why every time we win a championship, it's it's always sweet because mm-hmm. of the hard times we have to go through to win a championship. Right, right. Yep. You know, and then the first season you won one in 1993. That was the governor. Oh no, 94. Pala was your first championship, yeah. the Governor's Cup. Yeah. 95, you won the Governor's Cup again. Then yeah. in 96, you won all three, diba? And then. Yeah. Yeah. 97 yeah. Governor's Cup again. Then finally, you get an all Filipino in 98. Yeah. And then you finish it up with the Commissioner's Cup in 98. So you won all three. I mean, for you yeah. individually, you, you yeah. got all three yeah. conferences at one yeah. point or another. Here's This is 90, yeah. the 2050 BA season, which is. Uh, yeah. This was sponsored by Fila, Fila Payata. Sa yeah. Aces yeah. Na na sila rito. yeah. Mm. yeah. Aces, da ba? Parang Aces, no, no, hindi pa. Hindi pa. Hindi pa. Hindi pa. Hindi pa. Hindi pa na ganun yung PBA to change the name. Impact. Air Force pa. Air Force pa yan. Yeah. So, Baka 98 to. Sino hindi ko kilala dyan? Kilala natin lahat yan, you know? Sino well, si 91? Braulio Lim. Braulio Lim. Uh, this guy was the Adam. Oh. Uh, no, Joey from Adam Valdez. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Joe Joey Valdez. Yeah. Joe Valdez. Yeah. Braulio Lim. And of course, Joey Loisaga. My gosh. Joey Loisaga. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And then, Another you know, Australian. Per- then you had Bong, and then you have now Duremdes, jo- Jojo, and yeah. then Johnny. And June was back. Gomez. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. June, yeah. June, June saw the light. Uh-oh. Yeah, June saw the light <laughs> and, and came back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he left you for a while, then he came back to you. Tikas ng ulo, ay. Sabi nga, may iwan na lang. You don't see that often, a huh? smile like that from, from Jolas. Yeah. You know, he's yeah. he's more of a serious guy. He doesn't smile yeah. that way too much in photos. But yeah, how, how big of an guy. impact was the acquisition of how big of an impact was the acquisition of Rodney Santos and Kenneth Durham this for this team? Uh, a huge impact, you know. It made a lot a lot of uh easier for Jojo, Johnny, and Bong, right? mm-hmm. You know, you add threat. You are threats that are also threats that Aki can play defense and run the break. So it was a lot easier. Why did you give up your, your 32? Because uh, I gave it up because Kai Pochino. So he, we talked and then he, he asked. And I, you know, you know me being a, you know, you know, role player and a, you know, Matagal as a team, you know, I, love, I gave it in. Bye, okay. man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm <laughs> 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 Still oh, winning at this time. See, who were your, obviously you said Alex was your best friend, uh, but the rest of them, I guess you're all close, no? You're close to everybody. Yeah. I, well, that's what's nice. That's what's nice with um, with Alaska. We we actually preach that culture of familia, so that's what actually happens all the time. And 
you know, after every meal. It's not the man Fred who's actually uh, uh, pushing us to have dinner all the time. It's just the teammates itself that, you know, we ate dinner after every game. You know, birthday parties, kids' birthdays, all that. Yeah. We're all together. Yeah. Okay. Was there ever a time where you were quartered? Um, back then, yung Chris Patoyota noon, may quarters sila sarili. No? Tapos, pag prior to an yeah. important game, may kinakwarter sila. So, sa inyo, was there ever a time na na-quarter no. for a couple of days? Uh, kahit nung Grand Slam run, ganun, wala? Yeah? yeah. No, no. Wow. Wala. Okay. Wala. 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 Kanya-kanya pa rin. Ha? You go, go kanya, your kanya own separate rin. ways. Yeah, kanya-kanya pa rin. Okay. Yeah. Oh, para hindi na nangyari yun, no? after mga Chris pa oh, Toyota okay. it's, it's, yeah. 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 That, that actually stopped after the you know, Toyota Chris pa days yeah, tapos no, NCC yeah. siguro yung last mga Nord, di ba? yung Northern Consolidated yun, yung yeah, last baka. siguro na may gano'n okay. diba? I, think, I think even college diba? na, na uso pa yun yung mga Lasala oh, yeah, yeah. or yeah. finals yeah. quarter quarter pa yun diba? so I, I, I guess it's lost its purpose also in uh, yeah. Quarter. Yeah. Uh, a lot of the other schools, like UE and those guys, when we talk to some of our guests, yeah, they also had, they also they would stay in quarters in school, parang may dorm sila eh. yeah. But that's yeah. it, eh? not not a separate uh, mm-hmm. you know establishment for that. Yeah, si Joey Loisaga, that... Joey Loisaga is the old man on this team, eh? and I say that with all love and respect for for. <laughs> well, he he enters that team. Uh, what's he telling you guys? I mean, there's an age gap, a bit of an age gap, right, with you guys? And, yeah, about generation. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, he's one player that came back. You know, we knew of his uh, age already, but you know, competed all the time. And he would mm-hmm. actually talk to these players, these new players also, his experience. And that was actually mm-hmm. key, you know, passing down information, experience that he had, you know, especially you mga uh, quote and unquote magulang. And, you know, um, and he would actually protect his players, you know, if he sees, if he would see uh, players get being too physical, you know. Over going overboard, then he, he will actually, you know, pasok mo ko, pasok mo ko, <laughs> he will actually yeah. give Tim a message to put me in. <laughs> um, mm. But he yeah, was, a, was a, a tremendous great, shooter. Yeah. He was a this tremendous a great shooter. comment by Joel. Oh. Yeah. Good no comment, uh, Mr. Chairman. The first team could not do it all. Alaska succeeded because aside from having a good coach, the team was equipped with a brand new support system, and Mr. Bachman was one of those able contributors. Mm-hmm. Maraming salamat. Mabait na, matalino pa. Yep. Oo nga, di ba? <laughs> <laughs> What's the next photo, Carla? We were rushing to you. You might think we're rushing to this. Nice memories. Here's one of those championships. This is one of several championships. Mr. Trillo yeah. on the front. Mang Tom is yeah. still alive there. Yeah, Mang yeah. Tom. Yeah. Brian you know, Kunzalan took off his jersey already. Yeah, and you, you guys don't talk about it, but the, the support staff, you know, you know Gus Vargas, yeah. Yeah. you know, yeah. uh, the assistant coaches, Mang Tom, you know, the, the ball boys, you know, we were one, one big, big, big family. That's a dad of Wong, got Gus Vargas there with hair. <laughs> <laughs> and you had, you had June Tabanas. Yeah. And that's Gary V, I believe. Gary V at the end, the left side. And of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gary Valenciano, oh, yeah. ano, naka, nakasingit yeah. dun sa left side. That's right. Kasi barkada yeah. niya si Jolas. Best friend ni Jolas. Best friend ni Jolas, yeah. yeah. And then, Who's of the course, fellow on the right? Who's the fellow on the right in the white shirt na nakagano'n? Ah, Hawkins, di ba? Hawkins, the dad ah, of the Rene Hawkins. The Rene, dad, Rene that's Hawkins. That. So. Yeah. That's right. That's the dad. That's a legit Rene. action star. Oh, oh Contrabida. Yeah. Character actor. Contrabida. More of Contrabida, di ba? And, you know. Sila Dave Brodet, yung mga kasama niya nun, di ba? And then you had Waki, you know, uh, if you talk of, if people remember remember Waki as, you know, the, the manager of, of the Alaska is it? So he was one of the good managers. Mm-hmm. You know, a good team with Fred, with Fred, Tim, and, and, and Waki. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Tito Waki. Yeah. He's away from the yeah. limelight now. But the, yeah. the guy Tito, at the back. Yeah. The Can guy I say that also? Waki. Tito Waki? Tito Waki? Yeah, Tito Waki, of course. Yeah. Tito Waki, <laughs> I, can, I, I can say that. Tito Waki also. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> Uh, the guy the behind guy Hawkins, behind. the guy behind Hawkins, isn't that uh, the guy with rain or shine now? See, uh, the coach, the, the, the guy in the gray uh, shirt, the gray shirt, uh, where the, name? the guy in the, uh, the gray shirt, right right? behind the Mr. Father, Hawk, Rene right? Hawkins, oh, 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 Rene Rene Hawkins, Hawkins. Hawkins. the other, yeah, I don't know, it's I don't, that's I, the guy with rain or shine now. What's his name? He's a coach, uh, uh, Bindia. No, 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 no
Well, so, this is Punsalan. Punsalan and uh, the other FEU player. Uh, what's his name? Partners in sa FEU, eh. Uh, Mike Otto? Otto? My, no, yeah, yeah, Otto. Otto. Oh, yeah. 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 Michael Otto. Jack Taluan, and Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I don't remember Jack talaga on Alaska for some reason or another, but... Parati yeah. parati yung food scene. Yeah. Well, we also had Alvin Teng later on, so... Yeah. yeah. Oh, correct, correct. Yeah, you did, you yeah. did. Yeah. A quick, quick conference, a quick year. Yeah. And then Jaron played for also for you after. Yeah. 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 That's, mm-hmm. that's one big family. This is 1998, if I'm seven. not mistaken. Seven. 97. Seven or eight. Seven or eight. Yeah, seven or eight. Yeah. Yeah, seven or eight. Kasi Punzalan, yeah. diba? So, yeah. yeah. I think Punzalan now and Otto are in the States right now. Yeah, that's what I heard also. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. In fact, there, there was someone from FEU who was our guest and they were watching. They even commented, if, I, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. They comment yeah. pa sila during the show. Uh, yeah. uh, Chairman, you, you, 1998, you had Devin Davis as one of your, uh, as, a, as your import, no? Um, oh, yeah. It was ferocious. Yeah. Uh, uh, how, how do you describe him? How, do you, how was he discovered in the first place? Uh, this is actually, you know, I, I wasn't really involved there, but uh, this mm-hmm. is uh, TM, TM actually going going to the States and looking for imports with agents. Mm-hmm. And if I remember right, uh, Tim, Tim actually told us, Dicky, it was Kenneth and Bong, uh, five of us, to come mm-hmm. early to practice because an import's arriving. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and, and Devin, uh, Devin Davis came in and then with his with his dreadlocks yeah. and a gold mm-hmm. tees and orange <laughs> shorts and a clutch bag, and then we're like we're like oh shit, where did this guy come from? <laughs> <laughs> so I, and walking weird, and we were like oh shit, you know what's happening? And then he, uh-huh. then he got he got dressed, he started playing, and then mm-hmm. then all of us go oh sige, pa advance sa tayo, advance sa tayo. <laughs> <laughs> Super, super awesome, awesome import. You know, no, no flashes, and just gets his the job done. You know, physical people hit him a lot. He'll just smile at you with his gold teeth. You know, mm-hmm. really awesome. I remember, awesome. I remember Devin Davis because it's a mix of Kenneth Farid now, now Kenneth Farid and yeah. Kawhi Le. Yung ano niya, yung skill set. Yeah, niya. yeah, yeah. Galing, yeah. yeah. Sa- Sayang lang na, we couldn't bring him back more often because I think he went to Spain and he played in Spain and became a citizen. So, okay. Sayang, very, very Sayang. Getting on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. After, after and, all that success, uh, sige, sige, Jay, you're gonna ask something. Well, no, I, I was saying Ron Jacobs couldn't beat you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He was that, that, that type of uh, strong import, very effective. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, there was one game. Yeah. There was one game that Marlu Marlu Yata elbowed him in the face, and then he just looked at Arvin, uh, Marlu and just smiled. You know, must have picked on Yata si Mar- Marlu. Oh, de ba? Nakainis naman talaga yun, de ba? Biran natin mo, tapos gingitian ka lang. Nakakapik on yun. Yeah. Yeah. Kaya nakakasilo. Masisilo ka pa sa gold sa gold teeth niya. Eh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's a scene there's a scene like that in ano in home alone diba you may gold tooth yung yeah 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 uh, many times you come in, you know, uh, spot duty, few minutes, and then you come out. Anong, anong pakiramdam mo then? You know, the, I won't, I won't lie, diba? There was a lot of fights between my father and myself, you know, to transfer team. But, uh, and then also myself with me and Tim also, you know, uh, uh, no player will take it sitting down, you know, allow it to just sit down. So, so, but basically, uh, Tim being the coach and the teacher, you know, showed me a, you know, doctor talked to me and sat me down and showed, and and when he talked to me, I did accept it, and then I turned myself, my mindset into actually getting into coaching, managing the team uh, later on, so so that's where I know, and I also felt I, it was all difficult from all the talent coming in, it was difficult for me also. I realized that later on. And, but did you ever and, think of leaving? Did you ever think, I'll just go to Shell or sa whatever. Maybe I can go to Shell. 
Well, if I follow, followed my father, then uh, basically, uh, yeah, yes. But I, I actually had plans of, you know, using using basketball to open doors for me. And because, okay. you know, uh, I did understand, I did understand that, you know, basketball, what, you know, habang not even, you're lucky enough to be seven years or five years or more. Even now it's shorter, two years okay. or more. So I used basketball to open doors for me. And, and I also, because when I started, when I started basketball, I didn't let go of, I needed corporate experience because my, my parents were always like, you know, basketball will not get you anywhere. You know, you mm-hmm. have to work on that. So I'm going to walk with along just to appease my family. I did both. So while I was in Alaska, I was actually working for Toyota Balintawa. So, oh, okay. so I got I got into automotive for my, my rookie year uh, for three years basically. I was driving in the morning to from Alabang to Toyota Balintawa. I was wow. the executive wow. assistant of Toyota nice. Balintawa, which which I actually passed. I went through all the departments from service to sales to marketing. And I did that for three years. And then I would rush back lunchtime, you know, practice. And then, kung hindi na ako kailangan, I'll go. Kung kailangan pa ako to bumalik, then I'll go back to Balintawa. So I did that for three years. So I had that corporate experience. And then I also used basketball as um, to do to have my own business. You know, Sean Chambers. Sean Chambers used to bring back um, this End One T-shirts. Okay. Okay. You remember the End One brand? Okay. So. Uh-huh. They had, they had no footwear. It started with trash talk T-shirts. So mm-hmm. Sean Chambers would actually bring that every conference. When he comes back, he would give every player. So I was like, Sean, um, where do you get those T-shirts? He goes, to the U.S. So I go, can you s- s- give me the contact where you get this? So search, help me, help me search the owners. Okay. Mm-hmm. And by then, also, my brother was, my brother and I were, were talking about forming our own sports company. And I told him, search for this brand. When you get to the U.S., search for this brand. You know, add one. So he went to the sports shows. And, and, and there he saw a small booth. Very, very small. And a black person there, okay, manning the booth. And then my brother was like, uh, didn't bother to go near. Because first time to experience a, bla- uh, a black person. So he basically mm-hmm. went back to the Philippines and go, oh, I go, oh. Did you go to the end one? He goes, no, I got scared. Okay. <laughs> so, so I go, okay. So <laughs> next year, the next year, I go, go back and check end one. And it was a huge, huge booth. Okay. Oh, no okay. Yeah. Okay. And then basically we got the, the front the distributorship for the Philippines. Okay. Right. Right. Oh, it, okay. Yeah. And then from See there, that. we had, from there, all the, all the brands, I got more brands, you know, Bike Athletic, I got Gola, I got New Era. Mm-hmm. So we, we, we built our business. Oh, what nice. year was this? Yung end one year? Uh, maybe 89, 90. I actually, oh, I actually, spo- oh. I actually sponsored, yeah, sponsored the team actually uh, uh, for their, their, pe- their uniforms. And then I gave them, uh, gave them shoes also okay. for, for, as a sponsor. Tapos later on, si Jeffrey Cariaso naman ang gumawa nun. Kaya nga. Gaya-gaya eh. <laughs> gaya, <laughs> gaya, <laughs> nauna ka. Nauna ka, di ba? But then, but then, so, you, so you said it opened doors for you. Basketball did. Eventually, yeah. you know, Tim was preparing you to be, then your mindset was, pwede ako maging coach. So now you're a yeah. coach. Suddenly, the next season comes along after, uh, in 2000, suddenly you're on the bench, you're wearing a tie and long sleeve yeah. shirt. And, and, and so what was your role as a coach? Were you a big man coach? Were you a defensive coach? What, what, what was your thing there? I, I, was a, I was a big man coach and basically also helping Tim. Because, uh, you know, the triangle is very difficult uh, to learn. So he used me, I think it was me, Jojo, and Jun Reyes actually to help out and teach the triangle. So we will, he, I, will, I will be given a couple of players to actually teach the triangle. Mm-hmm. So that was my... You know, also later on when he left, when he left Alaska, um, I had the chance to actually off, be offered to coach. And I was given two options, you know, uh, uh, be treated as a coach and contractual or gi- be given as a, he showed me a pathway of being the general manager, governor and being part of the company. Right? So 
I chose, you know, coming from a, a player that wasn't really didn't actually make a name for it, was was basically a role player for the team. And it was basically contract, all contracts were like what, one year, uh chamba na kung two years. So and mm-hmm. I and I had a growing family. And so basically I I opted for a a pathway to become the general manager and then become the head of uh the grassroots program and then all the sports uh dealings with Alaska and and be part of the company. So I chose that road, which has turned out okay. Charlie, you're muted. Ah, you're muted, Charlie. Yeah, so you went from from uh, from assistant coach, manager, then then, then board governor. Tagal mo, dama tagal mo don. Decades, yeah. right? In, in that yeah. in that role, just recently you, you yeah. gave that up. Even when when the team was bought out by Converge, you were actually still part of the team, right? Yeah, I was part of the team, but I, uh, you know, I was used to one boss, and mm-hmm. uh, and I we and learning from Mr. Itangs, you basically decide right away and deal with one person. You know, ask permission, yeah. talk about it, and decide and go. You know, when, when it came to Converge, you know, um, it was difficult because you had you had. Uh, I was a governor before, but you know, also I was a, like a assistant team manager. So, and then you had chief, um, uh, uh, what is chief, uh, governor Chito? Salud. Salud. Yeah. Then you yeah. had the owner, and then you also had some friends involved. So yeah, it was yeah. difficult for me. So my job basically was: I told myself, get all these people of Alaska signed for one year, and mm-hmm. I basically did my job. And after I got everyone signed from the utility, from the assistant coaches. To the players, I just told Chito, uh, "I'll go already." I'll. Yeah. It's hard. It's hard to have two heads or three heads uh, sure, in one sure. team, so I might as well leave. Yeah, but and, it's not like you walked into into uh, the desert, no. You, you had stuff planned out for you, diba? Dami mo ginawa since yeah. then, no? so after yeah. convert, yeah. Dami, diba? you, you went to the FIBA group with us, so yeah. tayo yeah. Then all of a sudden, yeah. you're in the UAP. Then all of a sudden, you're you're where you are right now, as, as it says in your yeah. background, diba? Grabe, yeah. what a busy guy you are nowadays. You know, I had options. I had options with Fred. You know, um, I was offered in the, in his business in the plant of Laguna in Laguna, mm-hmm. and you know, I just asked him. You know, is, was there a is there a point person there? Uh, applying already or supposed to be take that position and he told me yes but i'm doing this for you so i said you know and i also thought about it you know what am i you know i, I don't know manufacturing manufacturing you know i have two years to train and i said and what, what am i going to do monday to saturday in a manufacturing plant so <laughs> those are the stuff that i was thinking about and in the end i just said um thank you to fred thank for thank you for actually Still, take, still until now, taking care of me, and uh, I chose uh, the the for the FIBA world was open to become a venue manager, at first. Yes. So, so I think we were all in that meeting in Club Malarayat, and yes, uh, Al Palino just Palino. told me just yeah, just told me take a look and and see uh, if you like it or not. Then all of a sudden, I saw my name there, and I was like, Mona. <laughs> <laughs> but it was all it was all good you know after 10 days i became the operations manager and you know, it was an experience experience of you know i really enjoyed it was uh yeah, actually yeah. it was a big uh, big help for my for helping me uh, to what i am now you know i meet, met new people met you know different politicians and all and people uh, people from the mvp group you know that I yeah, actually haven't met, met before. I'll, I'll just share with the rest of them, uh, Mr. Chairman. When he was with the, the FIBA group, he actually led the, the inspections of the FIBA personnel that came to the Philippines to look at the different venues and all that. Mr. Bachman was the one who brought them around. Buong araw yan, di ba? You'd go from venue A yeah. to venue B yeah. to venue C, three yeah. venues yan. And uh, yeah, so medyo, medyo magulo talaga. But uh, you know, just, just to point an image of, of Mr. Bachman walking there, and he's the tallest guy in the group, and they're all following him. So, talang ang ganda tingnan. Ganon siya walking around ball of ice. Tarina, ganon oh, parang pipe piper nga yung ganon yun talaga. Yeah, but other other responsibilities came calling. You you did become suddenly involved in the league that you played in way back the UAAP. Yeah, that came along, and then you know I just told myself just try just try it out, get my feet wet, 
and you know learn and because uh, that's one one thing that's one thing i always i know, you know I, I always want to learn you know something new you know so i tried it and i sat down there almost for one season and i, mm-hmm. I saw the talent you know i saw how coaches you know how they do it now up close because i'm right in the court you know mm-hmm. i i see how coaches complain all their you know all their styles i see mm-hmm. players i see talent you know and just the sad thing that i've noticed that i see all these talented players and i'm like will these players go to the pba or will these players go abroad so mm-hmm. uh, that's going while watching them that's going on in my mind you know you know sana they stay but you know good for <laughs> yeah. them if they go mm-hmm. you know, but there's so much talent you know we won't actually get tayo maubos sa talent there's so much talent correct correct Yeah. Pero today you won. Huh? I know, right? <laughs> That's the irony of your of your uh, commissionership. Well, well, I always I always said I always told Tom and and people from the from the FIBA LOC, who's mostly yeah. Ateneo by by the way. Uh, <laughs> uh, I told them that if 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 Ateneo would adjust, if they can adjust with the physicality of you, then mm-hmm. they would win. Which they did in the playoffs. They lumabon sila sa physicality. They didn't mm-hmm. back down. So you know, galing din, galing din for Tab to push their play, uh, players and the, for the players to step up. Right. Mm-hmm. right. Yeah, yeah. Hindi mo never mo binalak uh, maging head coach. Never crossed your mind. Uh, it did, but you know, uh, I, I, I like the path of Mr. Uitengsu. Uh, what he guided mm-hmm. me through. You know, I even even with JoJo in Alaska. Uh, uh, Fred would always tell tell me and Jojo that I don't want to put you guys in a position that I would have to fire you later on. He goes, mm. I got you guys ready. You're part of my family. This is for you. Okay. okay. So he didn't want to he didn't want to get to that that stage that if, if we did perform, did not perform, that he would fire mm. us. Mm. So you you know that. Yeah. So I appreciated that also. Yeah. yeah. You know, what about CSE? CSA, well, CSA? Well, I, well, when I was in Alaska, I did LaSalle Green Hills. Uh, I did coach okay. LaSalle Green Hills. And, but okay. I just didn't like the, all the politics, all the pa- palakasan. So I just uh, out, you know. Okay. Get, don't get involved there anymore. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. Galing, let, let, let's show that, that photo uh, of uh, Mr. Bachman, uh, Carla. That last one. First. The yeah. chairman. So, this, this, so there you are today. How did you get this? How did you get this gig? I mean, uh, you know, remember I was messaging with you, and I yeah. said all of a sudden, you know, two, three, a few days before, I'm, I'm addressing you as the, the UAP commissioner. A few days later, I'm calling you, Mr. Chairman, already. I'm, I'm the chair. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, this is this is just Chamba. Now, basically, uh, the presidential management group uh, called me and asked me if I was interested. So, you know. Uh, I just said, you know, um, interested in the sense, but I wasn't sure. You know, um, I knew also my because my brother was a NSA for squash right. for a long time. Oh, okay, yeah. And um, I also understand that he was actually uh, going after this position. Okay, mm-hmm. so I told the the for the president presidential management group. I just said, can you give me a few days? So after maybe two three days, I called back and I just said um, I had three conditions. I said first, my first condition was, will this my affect my brother in any any way, as yes, being an NSA? And I, I I just said if yes, then I won't take the job. Then they said they go Diki, walang conflict yan, okay lang yan. So, okay, so that's check now. And the second one was, I do understand that my brother was running for this position as chairman. Is he being considered? So I, I, and I just said, if yes, then again, I will back out. And they told me, Dickie, to be honest, now, he's not being considered. You are being considered. And wow. I go, okay. So I go, okay. So then my, my, my third was, uh, kung hindi ako, sino? Can you just give me a couple of names? And then <laughs> they, they, they gave me the names. After they mentioned one two names, I go ako na lang. <laughs> <laughs> so bakit, there. Bakit? You know, bakit? 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 Ikaw na lang. Because I knew I would actually, you know, serve 
serve the athlete better. You know, no agendas, no agendas basically doing the job and serving the athlete, you know. Um, and when I did submit my, my resume, I didn't even, I knew this was a political, the madaming politica dito. So I knew I wouldn't get it at all, you know. After give, submitting my my resume, I left for the states and didn't even think about it. Didn't tell anyone in the in the FIBA LOC because I knew a hundred percent I would not. You're not it. gonna get it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So and then when I was in the states, you know, names came out like Dino Andeguer was being the right, commission, right. the chairman already. All the commissioners were coming out. So well and good, but I know Dino, so mm. okay lang sa akin yan. You know, I didn't I didn't mind. So I just was enjoying my 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 vacation with my family, because that's the this this is the only time I uh, after the sale of Alaska that I was able to take my family out, mm. and and all of a sudden my name they called me now you 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 know you you got the job, <laughs> so that that was like in the states that was like seven. Seven eight in the evening. I didn't sleep anymore. I didn't sleep till the next <laughs> next day. Now, you know, I was like people calling, you know, social media. So yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. so I didn't want to ask ask um in, entertain any interviews till I till I got back. Okay, right, right, so that's right. where it happened. That's how it right, happened. Okay. Charlie, on the side, lang. Okay, on the side, lang. Um, your brother owns a restaurant here in the Spinas. Is that right? Uh, it used to be a restaurant in. Uh, oh, it's a family business, you know, Mingoy's. Okay, okay. uh, it, it's a Spanish Spanish cuisine, yeah, yeah. and we're oh, okay, famous for the uh, paella. paella. So right now, because of the pandemic, we we actually it's all online now. We you order Instagram, Facebook, and then we deliver. So our kitchen oh, is our our kitchen is in Alabang. So uh, okay, so that's what we do now. Or your okay. tayo, Charlie. Oh, okay, okay. South boys. Okay. I didn't know you guys run that pala, that Mingoy. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, my my father and T- I call him Tito Mingoy Hoxon. So yeah, we're Hoxon, good yeah. friends. And my 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 father was a it was it was always there, a, a good customer. He got close to Tito Mingoy. And before no, Magallanes. Passed, Magallanes. And yeah, before he passed, we used away. to go there. We used to go there all the time as well. Exactly. So, mm-hmm. I didn't so, know so that. Before, okay. That's nice to hear. Yeah. <laughs> that is still around. Okay. <laughs> So this, before he passed away, basically he sold everything to my father, and oh, that's okay. where okay. my father got. See, see, with, and, and with conditions, with conditions of you know taking care of his family. So which my my actually, that's one thing nice about my father. You know, my, when my father says things, he will you know agrees to things that he will get get uh, he will get get the job done. You know, he yeah. he actually took care of his family. Sikat yan, ah. Sikat yung mingo isa. Yeah, she yes. talaga yan. Especially oh. during our, our generation, the 80s, yeah. they know that Bingo is for sure. Yeah. There's a, there's yeah. one, I think there's one more photo in the time capsule, Carla. Can we just show it now? Speaking of your father. Yes. Uh, the, yep. yep. Your yep. Pa, yep. There's your papa right there, your, your dad. And then yep. obviously, he has left a lasting impression. The name alone, no? The name alone, yep. Bachman. Exactly. They, mean, it's, yep. they think of you, but they also think of him. Sometimes you're the son of Kurt Bachman. Sometimes he's the dad of Dickie Bachman. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. But he's, he's been away for, for a few years already, but just, yeah. just talk about him and, and and what he means to you and then you know and, and your career. Yeah, uh, uh, it was. I grew up. It was very for me. It was very hard because he was basically uh, very. He took the Bachman name uh, really seriously. You know, don't shame the Bachman name. You know, mm-hmm. you know, you know all about the Bachman name. And when I got when people were noticing already me in basketball, that's where he actually you know. Took charge and took control and was on my back all the time. You know, um, there was a lot of fights. There was a lot of fights, but you know, I knew in the end that you know he it was just he was just being a father. Okay, you know, at, at the end, you know, I felt bad because I felt bad because every time he would talk to me was it was all about basketball, and I was more of I was letting go of basketball because you know I would rather talk about something else. And it was all still basketball, you know. And I just couldn't actually explain that to him, you know. I know, I know, I knew he felt bad, but you know, I was just, uh, it was tough. He was, he was a very uh, tough to please, you know. That's what made him a good basketball player, also. Played for both Eco and Ismael, huh? Yeah, yeah. And he, you know, the Olympics, yes, sir. You know, 
Yeah. Olympics, 1960. Yeah. He, 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 he had a very hard time adjusting with... Because he, he, he was the... Like, you know, when people become Filipinos now, you know, mm. like uh, for, foreigners, he was always telling me, you know, I, I had a, such a hard time. I had to go there and I had to, you know, really sing the national anthem. You know, it was so hard. You know, now it's so easy. You know, players of the day, you know, I had to work. I had to work uh, in the corporation and then play after. You know, mm -hmm. players of today, no more work, you know, just play and the amount of money. But he just couldn't adjust and couldn't realize that, you know, it's not their fault. You know, it's, it, times are changing. You know, sport is mm -hmm. changing. He always, and, and, you know, every, every time Kaloy, Kaloy Losaga, and then him would come to the house. They would come to the house, and Chita would come. So both of them, Kaloy and my dad, would talk about the past, and and then Chita and I were like, "Oh, it's another man, tayo." Rolling your eyes at them, you know. Makinig na lang tayo. Makinig na lang tayo. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. And it's still it's still changing every day, as you very well know, not head yeah. of the Philippines Sports Commission. Was like, yeah, but he was a great father, you know, to all our kids, to, the, to my mom and that. He's a great uh, mm -hmm. uh, father. And he, he helps a lot of people, uh, you know, his friends, you know. There's one time that, you know, uh, people come to him and, you know, borrow money. But he was always there to help. That's mm -hmm. what I liked about him. He looked strict, looked, you know, you know tough, but soft, soft heart. Uh, yeah, most of them are like that. Right? That's, that's yeah. the truth yeah. about that. Yeah. Well, thanks. Thanks for sharing that with us. We, we know that. I think that's the end of our time capsule, no, Carla. That's the end. That's the end of the time capsule yeah, brought to us by Fitbit. Thank you so much. We're gonna enter into our final segments, no. But uh, before yeah. that, may may pahabul question lang ako short lang to. Is yeah. it true? Is the story true that your grandmother ran onto the court to protect your dad during one game? Pinalo niya with a payong yung kalaban. Tama yon. That, that, that's, a yeah, I, that's a fact. I think uh, I think that happened in Araneta. Uh, okay. I think she was in lower lower box shot. Uh, okay. Actually, actually, Lasal uh, in the Hall of Fame gave her an umbrella. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <my love. laughs> so someone someone hit my my father, and then my father was down in the in the, in the floor, and then he, she came along, entered the court, and started attacking the that that player with an umbrella. So when when I heard that story, that I just told my mother that. Don't you ever do that again? <laughs> That's not <laughs> happening to me. <laughs> yeah, diba? Ma could go in there, uh, wow, jahe, jahe. Uh, <laughs> do, do you have the name yeah. of the player? Do you have the name of the player who hit your dad? I don't know if it was Lot Lotuaco. You know, I think it was the father oh, of Bobby Lotuaco. Bobby, Bobby. Uh, Bobby. Uh, yeah. Bobby. Uh, I, okay. I think so. Yun yata. Was the kasama si Bobby sa Alaska? Kaya nga we he talk, actually talked about that guy. So. <laughs> The late Bobby Lutuaco. You literally pinayungan. You literally pinayungan yun. Pinayungan talaga. Pinalo raw. But my dad would tell me that all the time. My dad would tell me that story all the time. You know, that was her weapon. You know, she she was a my my grandmother who from San Juan would actually walk to Calentong in San Juan and go to market, ride the jeep. So sometimes I would actually go with her and, you know, carry the boy of Bayong for her. And that was her weapon. Like when people would approach her, or a snatcher bag. Yan yung weapon niya. Yun payong niya. Payong talaga. Payong talaga. Iniikot-ikot pa niya. Ginaganyan pa yung payong. Parang ballpen lang, ha? May punyeta on the side pa yun, ha? She was very tough. Nakwento ba sa inyo ni Rafa ding lasan yung... Nakwento ba sa inyo ni Rafa ding lasan yung payong incident niya? Meron din siyang ganun, eh. Pinapalo din siya sa Jones Cup ng isang babae. Sao, sa Jones Cup, inuwi niya yung payong, di ba? Inuwi niya sa Manila. Yung rumble ng inuwi ng bolts yun. Inuwi niya, dinala sa Araneta the next day, pinakita niya sa amin. Ito yung payong na pinapalo sa amin, no? Loko talaga si Rafa. Oo, gano na. Gano talaga yun, eh. Wala tayo magagawa. In fact, when my son was playing varsity ball in high school, that's what my dad would tell him. Your grandma might come to the games and if someone hits you, <laughs> papaluin niya ng payo. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, so that's so. Any pahabol questions, guys, before we enter the segments? Because we, you know, we oh, take a lot of time with the very busy chairman. Yeah. Pasok na tayo. Let's enter the twilight zone. In the twilight zone, we have our first segment, and it is called Excess or O's, Mr. Chairman. It's brought to us by Hinalaban Farms. Uh, Hinalaban Store. Dot com. Add Lion Coffee. You know that uh, you used to go to the Hinalaban Cafe, Mr. Bachman, but. So this is one of our sponsors, uh, 
please get their products on Lazada, Shopee, and at adhilabanstore.com. This is called XSROs. I'll just give you some choices. Just choose. You don't have to explain why. It's a list. We'll go through it lang. Mamili ka lang. Okay, let's go. Number one, Dindo Pumarin or Johnny Abarientos? Johnny. Johnny. Sorry, Dindo, but Johnny. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to get you to fight with any of your friends here. Right? It's, just, it's a yeah. choice. It's a basketball just, just choice. Be, yeah, just <laughs> being honest. Uh, yeah, on yeah. a basket, oh. skill level basketball. Okay. okay. June Reyes or Gia Banilla? Uh, June Reyes. June Reyes. Sunny Toss or June Limpot? Hmm. Hmm. June Limpot. <laughs> June Limpot. Poch Huinho or Alex Araneta? Oh, damn. <laughs> That's tough. I would go Poch. No Ooh, Poch. Okay, okay, Poch. Alex Compton I, or Tim Cohn? Uh, Tim Cohn. Tim Cohn. Okay, Tim without Cohn. Hands down. Hands down. Derek Pumarin or Joe Lipa? Oh. <laughs> tough. Well, it, since I spent more time with Derek. Derek Pumarin. Okay. Many years. Yeah, Derek, yeah. Jeff Cariaso or Luigi Trillo? As what? Whatever. Totally uh, different. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, well, well, Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Okay, Ooh. Jeffrey. Okay, Jeff. Jolas or Kenneth? Ah, uh, Jolas. Hands down. Jolas. Okay. We're, we're uh, Rob Dozier. Rob Dozier or Devin Davis? Ah, uh, Devin Davis. Don't even days. think about it. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Cortez or Tenorio? Oh, wow. That's tough. Pero well, as a leader, tenor, Tenorio. Tenorio, no? Tenorio. Yeah. Don Don Leaders. Ampalayo? Sorry. Don Don Ontiveros or Cyrus Baguio? Oh, wow. That would be tough also. At what stage of Don Don? I don't know. <laughs> if it's young, young stage? Because no, I've I experienced I've experienced uh, Don Don at the later stage, uh, so I would choose yeah. Cyrus. But uh, like Don Don, the San Miguel, San Miguel, then. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, okay. Safe, okay. Uh, safe, safe. <laughs> uh, Good answer. Uh, <laughs> oh, sige, sige. 1990... And he was my endorser. And oh, yeah. Endorser. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cyrus. Yeah. Cyrus. Yeah. Cyrus. Yeah. That's right, that's right. Okay, 1996 championship versus Pure Foods or versus Shell. Or versus Gordon's Gym. Governor's Cup yata to, di ba? Governor's Cup ang Ginebra. Shell or Gordon's? Uh, it's always Pure nice beating Ginebra. Uh, it's always nice beating Ginebra. So, so Gordon's is the Gordon's. Ah, yeah. okay. Always okay, nice beat. Nice. Always enjoy beating uh, Ginebra or Gordon's. Can I ask why? Okay. Sorry, yeah, to Charlie, add up that. Can I ask why? Yeah, yeah. Because of the crowd, the, the people that, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's so much better, so much sweeter. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Bong, Bong Hawkins or Raiden Hognatan? Yeah, Bong Hawkins. Bong Hawkins. Oh, Rodney yeah. Santos or John Cardell? Oh, wow. Uh, oh. Healthy John, <laughs> healthy John Cardell, John Cardell. Okay, mm. healthy John Cardell. Okay. I, think he, his, oh, okay. I think he injured his shoulder. Uh, that's okay. why he was. Uh, okay. Uh, Jerry Codiniera or Benji Paras? Uh, Benji Paras. Benji Paras. Oh. Alvin or Nelson? Alvin. Alvin. Uh, what's his next but he one? Still but he still deserves to be part of that, the Hall of Fame. Oh, yeah. Of course. Of course. The top 40 best. Yeah, of course. You should be in the next... You should be in the committee. He should have been in the... Yeah, 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 yeah. You, should, you will Am be in the next committee, Mr. Chairman. Exactly. I, I will back you, you up there. We'll talk about, about it. Let's ask the right people. Let's ask the right people who should be in the... Anyway... No Ito. comment, no Shoot. comment. <laughs> shooter. Uh, shooter, shooter. Al, uh, JV Casio or Roel Gomez? Uh, uh, two different shooters. Uh, uh, Roel Gomez, because of the set shot, but mm -hmm. off screens, any type of uh, three-point shot is JV. So yeah. I, would go, I would go with JV because of all the screens and moving okay. uh, shots, JV. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Chris Part Toyota. Uh, yeah. Ooh, of course, Toyota. Come on. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's in the list. 
Bulao, man. Bulao. Bulao. I love Bulao. Diba? Okay. Di pa dating guess yun. Ito, ito. ito. Willie Miller or Brandon Cablay? Uh, Willie Miller. Oh, Willie Miller. Oh, Willie Miller. Nick Velasco or Calvin Abueva? Uh, Nick Velasco or Calvin Abueva? Nick Velasco. Nick Velasco. Don yeah. Aliado or Ali Peek? Ay, yan ang maganda. Yan ang maganda. Oh. 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 Uh, I would go with Ali. I would go with Ali. Ali. Oh. Okay. Yeah. John Arrigo or Tony De La Cruz? So, pa yan. Uh, uh, I'm, talking more of, I'm talking more of teams or De La Cruz. De La Cruz, okay. Yeah. Romeo Travis or Mike Harris? Oy. Ooh. Ooh. That's uh, nice. Mike Harris. Mike Harris. Mike Harris. Okay, okay. Chris Banquero or JV Casio? Oh. Mm, I would go JV Paren. JV Paren. And of course, during young your time, JV. it was. At your time, it was still Banchero. Now it's Banchero yeah. already. Yeah, yeah okay. young, healthy. And then the last one. Mm. Yeah, show the photo, please, Carla. This is for the last one for XSROs. Yolo. Snooki, Dina, or Maricel? Oh my God. We can't go wrong, go wrong with Dina. Yeah, you can't go wrong with Dina. I want to go with Dina. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> okay, okay. That was XSROs brought to us by Dina Van Farms. We'll go to Mr. Zarate now. Oh. Eh, sino yung nagmarisel last week? May man nagmarisel, di ba? Oh, may nagmarisel eh. Ah, may nagmarisel na. Uh, oh, I forget. Okay. Anyway. okay, my my segment is called um, Seryosong Tanong, brought to us by uh, Serioso Chili Garlic, uh, delicious, aromatic, and crispy chili garlic bits in pure coconut oil made with naturally sourced local ingredients, no preservatives, no artificial flavorings, and no salt. Ito ang chili garlic na seryosong maanghang at kaya ipaglaban di gaya ng expo. Napakasarap talaga niya, Mr. Chair. should try that. Ang aking seryoso oh, talo, I'm gonna go back in time with this one. I, I, I wanna I wanna get it right, so let's bring in the graphics so I can get it right. Ano? Because it was phrased very well. Seryoso talo, would you have preferred that Jojo Lastimosa stayed in 1998 to give Alaska a better chance of winning a Grand Slam as opposed to going to Bangkok for the Asian Games? If if I knew that he wouldn't actually be used that much, then I would prefer that he stayed and help out and help out win uh, a championship. But I think guess uh, Tim was actually more think, thinking more of Jolas, you know, uh, being the leader of that team, not playing but being uh, in the bench and, and with his players, with his young players. But Sayang Rin, you know, you know, Sayang Rin, uh, opportunity to, to win the second Grand Slam. But you know. Uh, you know, I'll follow. I'll follow the decision of team and management. You know, uh, with Fred Daman, it's always national team first. Uh, so, you know, I wouldn't mind. You know, but but if you know, if he well, Bong was basically Bong got injured also, eh? so the union problem. Yeah. That's why I felt that that sana sana my man lang na si Georgia would have. If not going to be used, helped us out. You know, mm-hmm. but I think we all, almost made the semis. Eh? If I if I yes. remember right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we did. Uh, you lost to Pure Foods, yeah, with Derek, yeah. With Derek mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Then eventually uh, you're yeah. aware of what happened in Bangkok, the man between Coach Tim Cohn and Jojo Lastimosa, of course. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you know, both both the man, both the man had points, the man. You know. Yes. But yeah, yeah. with with Fred, the man is uh, not national team. You know, will give up everything. So. Correct. Correct. All right. Like, mm-hmm. Thank you, you okay, thank you. No, okay, okay, okay. No, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. No, because that, that always was uh, a thing that I've always wanted to know because that was a big what if sa akin. Alaska could have won a second Grand Slam in 1988. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that was by Serioso Talong, brought to us by Serioso Chili Garlic. Uh, Jay Mercado now. Yeah, this, seg- this segment is from Sid. Uh, it's called Dinner Segment. It's brought to you by Barrio Fiesta. Kain na tayo dito. Visit the Makati Avenue branch of Barrio Fiesta. Uh, co- uh, chair... Um, for example, if you want, were to have dinner with someone, past or present, living or dead, who would you want? Who would that person be? Which player? Uh, so which or player present? personality oh. would you want to have dinner with? Past or present, living or dead? Past or present. Well, Anyone. You know the that the, well. It just happened, right? The Toyota Toyota team. They had a, mm-hmm. 
they reunion. had a dinner together, a reunion. I would want to be, you know, just to be part of that because, you know, I, that's all the players I actually uh, yeah. were idolizing. But I well, I actually saw Mon Fernandez yesterday. So, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I saw a photo. I saw a photo. Back it, back it. What would you ask them, uh, Mr. Chairman? I know. I just basically, you know, I just enjoyed how they play. I enjoyed the team, the, you know, how the team was run. So, I'd be a, a big, big fan. You know, I used to cut out clippings of Toyota. Charlie, uh, dapat in-invite pala natin si Cherry. Oo oh, nga eh. Oo, oh, pwede. That, that was a very well. Suwerte. Suwerte to si J. Mercado. Nakadalawa siya eh. Dalawang reunion. Uh, si you, guys are, you guys are not inviting eh. Oo nga. Ang PSC chairman pala. It is now duly noted. It is now duly noted. It's not our fault. The PSC, former PSC Commissioner Fernandez did not invite you. So it's, <laughs> not ours. Not ours. We're just Miron. Miron lang din kami. So, <laughs> but, hope, <laughs> but hopefully, but hopefully si Joe next time is, will be there now. Hopefully, Sana. yes. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. We're always praying for that. Sana and Kiko, talaga, of everybody. course. No? Yeah. And Kiko are nice. Sana ka. Yan yung mga yeah. paborito natin. Yeah. So that's it? That's it for that's the, it. the, the Barrio Fiesta? Yeah. yeah, this segment is about okay. like Barrio Fiesta. Mm-mm. Okay. okay. So last na last na talaga, Mr. Chairman. We are entering what yeah. we call the segment called Hello Porky. Hello hmm. Porky is the batian portion of our show. And it's brought to us by A Food Vintar Longaniza. It's a product from Vintar Ilocos Norte. Made using... Original recipe passed down through generations, making it a true delicacy that captures the essence of Ilocano cuisine. It's not sweet, but it's savory and slightly garlicky. No preservatives and fresh and natural. A must-try for everyone looking to experience the rich flavors of Ilocano cuisine. Pastor, open kami na. Please call that number. Breakfast. Breakfast kayo. Napakasarap niyan. Bintar Longganisa. Pampababa ng kolesterol. Oh, pampababa ng kolesterol. Okay, before you are allowed, before we allow you to greet and acknowledge and say thank you to everybody in your career, we ask you one last question. What moment in your career are you most thankful for and why? Moment in my career, okay. I guess would be the where I, I guess in each stage, I, I'm very thankful, you know, from the, from me playing in the barangay level and my coaches there, mm-hmm. from the high, my high school coaches, uh, uh, Mr. Serrera, Mr. Balgos. Then you come also to Jolipa and all my teammates and then, Especially also the ESQ, my teammates there who actually developed me to becoming the person I am today. And then also LaSalle, Alaska, you know, I don't forget all this, all the people I meet. And, you know, basketball basically has, you know, has basically gave me the opportunity to meet a lot of people from all walks of life. You know, and that's, mm, right. that's why I, I'm the person that you have, that I'm here today. Because, you know, I, I, I met a lot of people from all walks of life. Yeah. yeah. So it's the it's the encounters, no? The encounters with yeah. people, I yeah. guess. That that yeah. you're most thankful yeah. for. Right. Yeah. Okay. So we'll we'll let you know. You know, just just to anybody you'd like to greet, acknowledge, say thank you to, give a shout out to. Now's the time before we let you go, sir. Uh, basically, uh, I just want to th- thank you for for inviting me. But I do actually want to ask a favor. You know, mm-hmm. this is such a nice concept. Okay. But hopefully in the future. Uh, for the PSC, uh, for all sports, you know, I have 2019, I have 43 sports. Now I have 73 sports and we are gearing up to the Southeast Asian Games. Right. And then a big boost for the players is actually be, to be featured by media, social media. And hopefully uh, you would actually get also the other sports, or other athletes involved in this in this in this concept beautiful okay. Okay. so if you need if you need help if you need help then let me know you know there's a lot of sports there that you know are not even being hindi okay mm-hmm. yes, you know, when yes. I be, you know when I became PSC uh, chairman you know I I went out I didn't agree about them them coming to me so I went out and went to the athletes I went to the sports you know I didn't even know there was soft tennis I didn't mm-hmm. even know that we we have a indoor hockey team. You know, obstacle course teams. You know, yeah. these are some some uh, some teams that actually should be uh, should be actually promoted by by media. So hopefully, yeah. also you can you can help me out. You know, I might take sure. you up on that, Chairman. I actually might take. Oh, you definitely, up on that. definitely, we will because we are part of the Globally Bowling Network, and the Globally Bowling yes, Network yeah. has a bunch of different shows also, and I'm sure they can accommodate yeah. a bunch yeah. of those. Yeah, even we. You know, the question ko pala meron na ba tayong tech ball team? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I really like to see if we have a tech. Have you seen that? That's a fantastic sport. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, 
So yeah. that's what the Global Ebola Network wants to do, really. So yes. tama let's talk. Let's talk, uh, Nikki. Let's talk about that. Yeah. There's a different shows here that we mentioned kanina. Iba yung, iba yung uh, mukbang, uh, Next yeah. Man Up. There's Who the Heck yeah. Are We with Claudia Perrine. You, you know, so tama yeah. I'm so. trying to talk to I'm trying to talk to also to to networks that actually can promote give one, one channel for the PSC for all sports. You know, hindi lang basketball, volleyball, you know, sana yung mga iba naman. Correct, correct. Uh, Tama. Delay, Tama. Agree ako dyan. We will I support you in any way. Uh, for sure. Yes, yeah. yes. We'll be there. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Anyone so, else so you'd like to know? Yeah. No, yeah, like to everyone, you know. It's a great concept. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to, to all, to all, to everyone, just, you know, support the, the Atletang Filipino because they do need help. All right? Thank you so much. Thank you so much for, for your time, Mr. Chairman. That's Dickie Bachman, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the, the PSC chairman, but of course known for playing with LaSalle, for Alaska, for all the work he did with the Alaska organization, which is a great team. We miss Alaska, by the way. We miss Alaska in the PBA, yeah. but you know, yes, it's, yeah. great, it's a great history, and then, then we'll always be thankful for having had the opportunity to watch them. Okay, so that's episode 168 of... Uh, AOB, imagine, naka 168 we're, we're closely, clo- we're still moving up. We'll have another guest next week. I think you guys are going to like uh, who it's going to be. We'll announce it on our Facebook page as soon as we have our poster up and we're able to post it or maybe by Monday or Tuesday. Magubo siya ni Chairman page. yan. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's think, see, yeah. let's see. Pero quiet, quiet yeah, muna yeah. tayo. Of quiet. course. So, let's yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Papa confirm ko muna 100% kung sino yon, <laughs> And we'll have him next week. So, so that is, that's it. We're now in the books, 168. Just uh, just reminding everyone, we're part of the Global Ebola Network. Thank you so much to GB. Thank you so much as well to San Miguel Corporation, which powers our show. Uh, and then, of course, Serioso, Barrio Fiesta, Hinaleban, and A Food Vintar Longganisa. We thank you all. Sino nag birthday sa AOB family in the past week? Dalawa, Leo Austria, Enrique Relosa. Happy birthday. Nag- uh, birthday this past week. Oh, Happy birthday Leo. to these two gentlemen. Okay. Happy so, of course, Aldo mm-hmm. Perez is watching again. Lots of other guys. Thank you for all our followers. Sangala ng aking mga kasama. Oh, PBA Archives and PH Sports Bureau for the information, the photos. Um, salamat kay Rod Yabes as well for additional photos. Yes, Thank you. Correct. For Noel Zarate, for JP Mercado, and for Zoid Ventura. Maraming salamat, Mr. Bachman. We'll see you around. And Thank anytime you. you need anything from us, Thank let you, us know. I'm Charlie Kuna Thank saying, Thank you. God bless you all. We'll see you next week. Mabuhay kayo lahat. Salamat. Thanks, Carla. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. 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 Th